sometimes I would look for like cool like band T-shirts yeah, and Hot Topic, sure. but it's like all the people in there were just like, wow, like I hope I never talk to you outside of the store. Yeah, you know. And and again, to all the people who have worked at a Hot Topic, like, sorry, not sorry. Like, you don't need to look like your parents are disappointed for you to work <laughs> there. Like, you could just you could do whatever. But I used to go in there like. All the time, and it was almost like proving it to myself, like, uh, yeah, I'm in Hot Topic, <laughs> and I'm nothing like anybody else that's in there. You know what I mean? I'm going to unapologetically be myself. I've never been a style guy, which is funny because I'm on the show, but, like, I've never been <laughs> uh, a personal style guy. Like, my style is, like, like jerseys and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. When, when we go and we get a new jersey or a different jersey or whatever, I'm like, okay, like, this looks sick. Mm. I'm going to wear that. But, like, regular clothes, buddy, like, I'm wearing khaki pants and have an elastic waistband. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not I'm yeah. not going for style points here. I've, I've definitely left that. I don't know. This, kid, this dude's life. rocking the chain today, so I think he's the stylish one. You know what's I, funny? I, you know why? It's because uh, I got a hinge date after this. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's go. Yeah, okay, so. all right. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to The Vault, the weekly show that takes a look back at some of the best and worst jerseys in sports uh, with thoughts from the bench. Uh, as you can tell, it probably looks a little different tonight. It's because we're doing our first in-person recording of The Vault, something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time, and that means that beside me is my man, Benny Buckets. How's it going? It is going great, sir. How are you? This is electric right now. I'm super pumped. This is the first time being in the new studio. And, uh, and this is, dude, this is great because you figure in almost two years of us doing the show now, this is the first time that we've been in the same room to do it. So I know. I am, I'm jacked. I know. I, I think what we, we've done like a few tubers deep appearances together and yes. that's like it. So. Yeah. Like for like Deke's going away. And then there was one other one, I think too, like three years ago. Like at Scratch. scratch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah at yeah, Scratch. Yeah. Um, that but, actually just came up on my phone the other day. As a matter oh, really? Yeah. So Dude, like, that was, that, legit three yeah, years. No, that, that, that was a good time. I, I remember those nights. I think I went like twice. It was yeah. electric like both times. Um, but since we are in person, we had to ring in the new era of the vault. This is a milestone. We had to ring it in with, of course, the show's presenting sponsors. So welcome to the vault. Will Marshall Woo! once again the return. The Thank prodigal son. The prodigal of son. How's it going, man? It's going, dude. I'm uh, I'm busy. I'm tired. I'm sunburnt, but I'm enjoying myself. But you're about to go on a hinge date, so that's and all I'm that matters. I'm about to go on a hinge date, so uh, yeah, having a good time. There we go. Uh, so I get. What have you been up to since? Because it's been a while since it you've has been, been on. A while. Yeah. Oh man, I'm trying to think. Well, so I mean, I moved. I was on Mount Washington the last time. Oh, I was okay. On the pod, yeah. And I was doing this from my room there. Yeah. And now I'm here, which is this is sick, by the way. I, Thank I you. agree with your sentiment. Thank you. Um. You know, I moved to uh, Southside Marshall Fitness. I have 13 clients now, which nice. is Let's almost go. double, I believe, from the last time I was on the pod. Mm -hmm. so sounds sounds right. Yeah. Things are moving in the right direction. Um, and, you know, with the Riverhounds, we're, we're having a good start to the season. We're about one-fourth of the way through the season. Um, and kicking ass. Yep, absolutely. And uh, we Really doing home. well. Like, all yeah. compliments <laughs> to no, for sure. you and the rest of the coaching staff, like, truly coming Thank out you. strong. And especially, you guys kind of have a chip on your shoulder from how things ended last year. Absolutely. To really come out strong, and you guys have done exactly that. So, yeah. cheers to you, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. No, it's been – it's good, you know, and uh, it's – it's nice, like, weather's well, getting warm again. Like I was saying, I'm sunburned. I got sunburned today, and I'm getting that coach's burn. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm getting yeah. the glove tan, the watch tan. My, like, my neck from, like, here up is going to be bad. And, like, I got I to gotta sort that out this year. Yeah, it, dude, it's bad because, like, me and Ben are coaching together in the fall, right? Yeah. And, like. Actually, that's vault news. That I don't is vault think news. We yeah, I, I don't think up. we've actually said that so, out loud. So. Breaking, uh, I'm a high school soccer coach, and I had a vacancy this year for an assistant coach. And Smalls is going to get his break into the coaching world by hey. helping me out yeah. this year. Let's go. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped, dude. I'm yeah. pumped. It's something that, that I've wanted to do for a long time. So. And now, especially, like, because behind the scenes of all this, we've been talking about this for a long time. Yeah. And now that, like, 
we have gotten through the first steps of like you know you going through all the tribulations that you have yeah. to um and like we had our first team meeting and everything got you introduced and it's like you know now we're here now mm-hmm. we're starting to get the ball rolling and yeah um so that's awesome so yeah now with this happening we have three soccer coaches in the room right yeah. now, which is pretty crazy yeah, yeah. i know. Uh, wanted a significantly higher <laughs> i was level. gonna say yeah <laughs> but, uh, it's so technically four because i feel like he almost counts as two sure yeah um I'll take it. I mean, but, uh, he works for a professional team, so yeah. like, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, but I get, I guess, going off. Of, well, first of all, for people who haven't seen you before, give give a little intro. Oh yeah. So, uh, well, I mean, my name is Will Marshall. I'm from Pittsburgh. Uh, me and Smalls played uh, soccer together. What? Ten years ago, probably more. Yeah, than it's that, been like a while. Twelve years. Yeah. It's yeah. Been a while. So, uh, yeah, you're fucking old. So yeah, I'm getting I'm there. The same age. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I run a business, Marshall Fitness, um, online personal trainer. So I write custom programming and nutrition and all kinds of different stuff involved with that um, for 13 people right now. Um, and, you know, I've been doing that for it'll be two years in September. And then I'm a first team assistant with the Pittsburgh Riverhounds and I'm the director of goalkeeping for the academy. Nice, dude. Yeah, that's well, first of all, that's an impressive r- resume. Wear a lot of itself. hats. Yeah. Yeah, is your mic on? Yes. All right, nice. Nice. Sorry, I I didn't mean to interrupt that. No, 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 it's okay because actually that works because this is a good pause because there's something that I brought for you guys. Oh. So I wanted to make this a real official partnership. Okay. So I got a little monetary donation for you gentlemen to the vault. Oh wow! It's nothing crazy, but again, you guys have been I've you know everything I reshare everything you guys type me in, and Marshall Fitness is always right there at the bottom. And, you know, the way we kind of did this, it was like, you know, scratch my back, I'll scratch yep. this type of thing yep. for a while. And, like, it's been great. I see my logo all the time. I mean, like, this is my third episode on the pod. And so I just wanted to lend my support in a further That's way. Awesome. And so. Well, thank, thank you. Much, you got man. it. No, yeah, oh, I appreciate Absolutely. it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it was already official, but now it's, like, actually it's officially official. official yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, you, I mean. Use it for whatever you Yeah, there's like a paper need. trail now. Yeah, you know? there's a paper yeah. trail. <laughs> yeah, this right is off. documented now. Yeah, so. Pepper, you know, write that up. Pimp yeah. out the stew. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, so, so, now, because you are coaching professional athletes, can mm-hmm. you give a first-year assistant soccer coach any advice? Um, And second-year. Yeah, coach. I think, I think the big difference in, like, since I've done every age now, um, you know, I started with the academy and then I went to, I was college at Virginia Tech for six weeks or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and then now with the pros, I think the, the big difference across the board and I don't know what you can really do about it, but it's like the, the weird thing for me is like the fact that I'm the same age as a lot of the guys. Yeah. Like that's, that's hard. Yeah. That's um, yeah. and like our captain is 10 years older than me, I think oh, maybe wow. eight years older than me. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's helpful that, like, I work with the goalkeepers, and so, like, I don't have to – I mean, I, I still am a coach to all the guys, but yeah, right. you know, I work closely with our three goalkeepers. They're all younger than me by two years. Mm. Um, and so I think the one thing is you kind of have to almost decide – not pick who you're going to be, but you have to, like, not give as much away as to who you are right away, Interesting. if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Cause, and I think we've all probably experienced that with a coach before or like yeah. even a teacher where like yep. you don't know them well enough right away. So you kind of have to like, and I don't think it, it means it's like, it is a respect thing, but I think kids will like, especially kids mm-hmm. will like not know how far they can get with you. Right. You know, right, and so right, then it's right. important to establish that line early. And then as time goes on, then it's like, okay, you can kind of like, you know, you shouldn't necessarily let them cross it, but you can kind of let them get closer to it. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you you leave them breadcrumbs. You don't give them the whole slice of bread. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Right. And that's like, I feel like you have to show them shades of who you are. Yep. While yeah. still, because, and, and this is something that I've gotten like some pushback on before or whatever, but you need to command that blind respect first and build on that. Because yeah. especially when you're coming in new somewhere, you want to be able to where because they don't know so much about you, they immediately have respect for you coming into a role of some sort of authority. Sure. And then you build off of that with who you are, but you don't give it away right away. You let them, you control how much of you they know, mm-hmm. yeah. you know? And so it's like what I every teacher's ever done. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's kind of how you're able to 
gauge the relationship with the team as a whole and then players individually going forward. But, yeah, definitely I think, like Will said, like being able to – because you really – as much as we say to in society, in coaching, you can't be an open book. Yeah. Or yeah. you are going to get pushed to your limit quicker than you thought you were. Right. So it's like – but you still want to be relatable. So it's trying to yeah. find that balance. It's, yeah, yeah, it's difficult. It's weird. Like, I, I mean, I th- I'm – People would probably consider me a player's coach, and I don't think there's there's like there's people that say that you shouldn't do that, like in the sense of like I don't even know how you define a player's coach, but like I a lot of the kids that I've worked with, I've worked with them for a really long time. Like I've known them since they were twelve, now they're eighteen, and so they've gotten to know me. But I think at the same time, like they they know me well enough to understand when I'm kind of needing to like lay the hammer down yeah you know i think that being a player's coach is more about how much perspective you have and how much perspective you coach with because i think not being a player's coach uh or well actually let me lay down the the player's coach thing first i think being a player's coach means that you are still able to tap in mentally to what they're going through you're not just focused on the coach's side you're able to relate to Hey, I was in your shoes once. Sure. Yeah. I was where you were, and you're able to involve that into your coaching style. And you think about the players as people and players and their progression ahead of yours as a coach. Where I think a coach's coach is someone who is there to build the resume. Yep. Someone who is mm-hmm. there to use those players as a stepping stone. And not even to say that that coach is wrong. It's just a different style. Because if you know that that's not where you want to end up, it's good to at least make the most of your time and not waste time and know, hey, this is a professional leapfrog for me. Right. Whereas as a player's coach, you are invested in every team that you have a hand in. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. Because I would yeah. also say that I'm a player's coach. And I think for you especially, because a lot of these people are almost like they're the age of your peers, but they're not your peers, Right. you almost have to treat them as such while still commanding respect for your position, but being able to have that mutual respect as people. Yeah. Because like, hey, man, I'm the same age as you, but... I'm here for a reason. I'm, I am in this position for a reason and I'm going to treat you like a person, yeah. but you also need to treat me like a coach. Yep. And if you go from there, then you shouldn't have any issues, but every relationship is different. But I mean, I'm going to be biased, but I side with you hundred percent. I think it's better to be a player's coach because I think you get more respect that way because it is you showing a little bit of yourself, not too much, mm-hmm. like you yeah. said, but if you show them none of yourself, it's like, oh, well, this guy's just here to yeah. to use me for his own benefit. Yep. So, right. it, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't care what he thinks. I don't really want to listen to what he has to say. But if you do more so focus on the person and the fact that they play soccer instead of just looking at them as a soccer player, yep. things are going to go a lot smoother for you. So yeah. I agree with everything agree. you said. Yeah. yeah. But, that was a long-winded answer. I'm I so appreciate sorry. it. I, I'm so sorry for kind of going <laughs> off on that. No, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll just figure it out. Just be yourself, yeah. Yeah. but don't make yourself vulnerable. Yep. You, you want to be relatable but not vulnerable. Yeah. And that's – yeah. That, I guess I could have said it like that. <laughs> so I mean, I knew I knew that you weren't going to do that, so it's yeah. fine. <laughs> um, so, Marshall Fitness, what's the plan in the next five years? Oh, Ooh. five years. I mean, Ooh, you you, your, your, your five-year, year, ten-year yeah. plan, man. Oh, my God. Guidance counselor <laughs> over here. <laughs> well, so I guess that answer involves everything else at the same time, you know? Um I, you know, martial fitness is never going to go away. Yeah. And that's something that, like, I built that shit from the ground up. Yeah. Like, it, it, you know, no matter where or what the capacity it's working at, like, it'll always be a thing in some regard. Um, because, like, I am martial fitness. Like, martial fitness doesn't exist without Will yep. Marshall, obviously. Right. And so my long, medium-term goal, I guess you could say, is to get somewhere between 20 and 30 clients. Um from there, things could go in any direction. I mean, like, what I really like to do, and again, this is some time off and or time away, and I, I, I don't, don't have plans for this by any means. But like, the whole point of starting Martial Fitness, the way that it was started, like, online, yep, is so that I could 
not be anchored to one place. Yep. Um, yeah. And it makes you more marketable. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The, I mean, you're available reach. to everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I have a client right now in San Diego. I have mm-hmm. two in New York. And, I mean, and that's that's what I love about your business model is being accessible to anybody. Yeah. Like, it's not just like, obviously, we have a very heavy Pittsburgh following, but you can reach yep. anybody. Yeah. yeah. Literally anybody because it's just giving them the correct guidance. Right. And I don't, and that's the thing. I don't need, I don't need 5,000 people. Yes. I need 30, you yeah. know, and I can find 30. And then you're um, building quality yeah. trainer it's all to about training relationships. relationships. It's, that's yeah. all it's about. Like, I mean, the way that I get clients is literally by slide in the dms and like it's it seems crazy but like i literally just start conversations with people and then i start asking them about what they do and then it's uh you know they want to reciprocate and they want to ask like it's it's a thing like psychologically they're like well what do you do and then i start telling them and then they're like oh well i could use a trainer and i'm like well i'm a trainer right (laughs) yeah uh, but anyway like i really i'd like to spend some time in like Arizona for a bit. I went to Scottsdale a couple of, uh, last spring. Okay, and it was amazing. Have you, you guys ever been there? No, yeah, I've not been to Scottsdale. Arizona is awesome. I've been Scottsdale to the Grand Canyon, Phoenix, but the two, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, big ones. And yeah, Grand yeah. Canyon. Um, I was there for the can, hiking. So. Can we circle back to the Grand Canyon? Yeah. I want Will to finish what he's saying, but yeah. I have something to bring up about that. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, Arizona is gorgeous. Yeah, I, I mean, it's. I don't think I'd survive in the summertime. No, um, hot as hell. No but, way. It's a, it's a dry heat. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. But March, like I went in March, it was 75 every day. I didn't see a cloud the entire time. Yep. And It's beautiful, Yeah, dude. dude. I mean, I got a Jeep. I got some big tires on it. Like, I'd love to have yeah. it out there in yep. the friggin' desert. Like, that'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. And then, but also... You know wherever else and like i was looking at i look at like uh because you know like we travel with the hounds and stuff like that yeah. like we went to you know play tampa bay rowdies last year and they actually play in st petersburg and not tampa bay um but st petersburg is amazing yep. like it's yeah. it's crazy like, yeah you remember nate keebler yeah oh he, he's down there yeah he is yeah, down yeah, there yeah dude yeah, i, lives down I there. thought about that when i was shout there. out dr nate <laughs> yeah he's uh i actually looked up like his what is he a pharmacist? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. I, I, I found it on the maps. Oh really? So I it was it wasn't close to me, but it mm. was it wasn't far either. Yeah. And, uh, Doctor Cappy Keeps. Yeah, I actually might you... be seeing him this weekend. Believe oh, really? it or not. We yeah. go to Tampa next week. Is he up here? No, nah, I might be going down to DC. Oh, I think he's flying okay. up to DC, and we're gonna oh, okay. go down, go down and see Tom. But uh, right but yeah, he's down there, and he yeah. he said he loves it. Dude, it's a crazy so. place. I mean, there's just so many places. I mean, like I love Pittsburgh. Don't get me wrong. Like I think I'll always come back to Pittsburgh. Yeah, but, but uh, did Hartford, Connecticut take your breath away? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it did not. Uh, that was probably one of my least favorite trips. Not I can because, imagine. I can imagine, not yeah. Not because of Hartford by itself, but um, we took a bus. So it was like, from, from Pittsburgh? Yeah, it was like uh, nine yeah. hours. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah and now that they don't brutal. have the whalers, I mean, what the hell? That's what I'm saying, dude. That's yeah. the only reason you would go over. Yeah, I mean, I lived in Connecticut for almost a year, and I was in Hartford maybe once. I yeah. usually drove through Hartford. Yeah, like, it's it's not a super nice place. No, no, and it's kind of shitty. Their their team has a nice field. Like they have a mm-hmm. nice stadium, and they get a lot of people. But uh, man, the Northeast is. I mean, I guess we're considered the Northeast, but like the North Northeast, like that whole stretch right there. Yeah. Like I don't know what pulls you over that way. I, Boston's yeah. cool. I Boston's will say Boston's awesome. But then you but know, like, I've not been to Boston. But I would I've recommend it. I would go yeah. to Boston good. for sure, yeah. Yeah, because I was about an hour away there. from Boston. Yeah, right there. Fenway yeah. Park, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, like, no, Boston was sick. Like, I will – but, like, every, and it's, like, beautiful. It's beautiful up there. Yeah. It's more just, like, it's so it, – is it worth being that expensive? And cold. And cold. Yeah. Dude, Pittsburgh had a worse weather than Boston. It was bad. Yeah. It's, it's crazy, man. Like, every, every year I go through the same progression where it's, like – winter time i'm like this shit blows like, yeah it's like it makes you really feel like my brother the other day like i live with my brother now he, he works from home and and it was i think it was the day it was raining it was like a few days ago he i came home and he's just ranting to me about he's like, this city is bullshit and i'm like you wouldn't say this any other day and then yeah. you get days like today yep and it's like this shit's Gorgeous. magic yeah it's yeah like, this is like, the whole I love reason yeah, you yeah. got the skyline dude yeah, and it's, it's like, the whole reason yeah. why like the summer here is amazing but then you just got to deal with you know five months of nonsense right so right it's a trade-off but grand canyon yeah what do you have grand I, I want to see where this goes yeah i just in in maybe this is the cynic in me okay it's just a hole okay so have, have you me, been there yes well oh, yeah. how how recently 2017 really and you didn't like because i went out there and like i thought the same i thought the same thing before going out there i was like 
it's just a it's just a hole and yeah. it looks like a desert. I went out there and I was like blown away at how cool it actually well, is. Well, I think maybe I'm comparing it to because like I'm a big national parks. Guy. Yeah, well, me, okay. yeah, me too. So, and I think we've kind of had similar discussions yeah. like this before, and I think it was just like I was comparing it to other places I've seen. And to me, there was stuff that was just more breathtaking to me than that. I agree. So, so I, I agree. Like, but... In general, I get like, oh, wow, like this is kind of crazy. But it's yeah. like to me, the the romance of it yeah. dies off. Like after like I go, I just get one look. Yep, pretty cool. And then that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Do you know um, what happens in your brain, though, when like you see things like that? Like not like not like being disappointed, but like when you're Dr. Like, blown away. Out. Yeah, Listen, I, like, like I said, I wear a lot of hats. And like I, re <laughs> I read a lot of books. And I've read two books that have talked about um, kind of like it, it's called awe. Like it's mm -hmm. a literal technical term. And it's like when you see things like like the Grand Canyon or like the uh, the pale blue dot picture have you ever seen that like the from outer space yep. yeah, yeah like yeah. apparently like when people see earth from that far away like it like kind of it like rewires your brain hmm. which is crazy and it's like it's like you you get like shifted and like thrown into this perspective that like you're not that big yep you know yep and then it like really kind of can like really affect like that's why people are like moved to tears and all this stuff because yep. it's like their whole world comes like together almost Shift in a way oh, yeah, yeah no i remember i i right after graduation i went on like a cross-country trip and i we were up in Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. Right. I woke up and our tent was literally at like the foot of the mountain. I almost cried. Yeah, like it, it's like a real, it's a yeah. real oh, thing. It's, real. it's cool. Yeah, man. and that's like uh, I had the same experience when I went to uh, Yosemite. Yep. Uh, I was just like, that's that's on the bucket list for me. I haven't uh, been there yet. To me, yeah. and I'll be honest, I hate California, but <laughs> Yosemite. I didn't even know I was in California. Was arguably the coolest place i've ever been ever mm -hmm. like and that's going to I've, I've hit i'm not even gonna be as arrogant to say most but i've hit a lot of national parks and i don't know dude that place will always have a special place in my heart yep. yosemite was incredible but i kind of same thing like you guys were talking about like how it's like oh my god yeah like, this is yep i gotta do more this of that is shit, crazy to me been, because you just look at trees like in your backyard yeah. You know, and you're like, okay, yep. yeah, nature. And then you go and see these masterpieces, yep. and you're oh, like, yeah. dude, this is crazy that this wasn't man-made. You yep. know what yeah. I mean? So yep. it is, it's it's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how much can you bench? <laughs> Smooth uh, transition not here, that ladies much, and actually. Like, my bench, my bench max, right? Like, oh, current, okay, okay, okay. 235, <laughs> it's 235, which is not that good. I mean... No, but you're a big resistance band guy, though. I am. I, I love like. the resistance Yeah, there bands. we go. Yeah, it, I'm also more of a lower body guy anyway. Like, yeah. I love to deadlift and back squat and front squat and all that shit and do Olympic yeah. lifts. But since I started, since I've been a client, the deadlifting has been, like, one of my favorite. That's lifts. good. Yeah. People usually say that, too, which is funny because deadlifts It's satisfying, suck. dude. Yeah, it's they satisfying. suck while you're doing them. Yep. See, I hate But it's great. Deadlifts. Now, dude. it has been a while since <laughs> I have done them, but it was never something I could really get on board with. But I was definitely more a lower body guy. Like, people dread legs. I'll go do legs right now. Yeah. My thing is I hate cardio, just like most oh, of America. Oh. Yeah. I don't really um, like cardio either, to be I honest. mean, everybody hates That's it, but true, it's like but... when, when I'm in a position where I'm at, you know, as I drink a 40 here <laughs> on the live show and am just remarkably overweight – I uh, I probably need to do way more cardio than I do, but I, I'm not kidding. I would rather me stand up on this table right here, and you use my testicles as a speed bag, and beat the shit out of them than go run. Like that is. Well, hey, I, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm in the same camp. Yeah. There, yeah. So the thing is, is like, uh, running and like it's long or low intensity steady state cardio is right. not the best route for weight loss. That's what I like right. to hear. Yeah. It's actually like really inefficient because over time your and body becomes kills, more efficient at burning less calories. It kills calories. your joints too, yeah, your right? your joints are yeah. screwed. I mean, yeah. it, it's it's good for – like cardio is good for you mm -hmm. for other reasons. Like it's good sure. for your heart and all that yeah. different stuff. But if your sole purpose is weight loss – like you hear all these stories of people like – Oh, I want to lose 20 pounds. I'm going to go murder myself on the treadmill. It's like, yep. well, that's not the move. Like right. you need to like fix your diet, number one, and then go lift weights. Like, yep. Lifting weights is what gets people thin these days. And it's not. I'll tell you what, though. When I was a stupid, stupid teenager, okay, I used to tell people all the time, like, oh, you want to lose weight? Just like eat better. It's not that hard. Just eat different things. 
because I had a mile a minute metabolism. Okay. Yeah. Then I turned 20, 21, dead stop, and now I'm fat. So, <laughs> like, it's, but what I'm saying is the diet part, I think, it's is real. the hardest part for it everybody. Hard, yeah. Because for me, like, I am, I mean, almost to a point where it might be erotic. I am so passionate about food. Yep. <laughs> I love food. And so, like, for me to try and, like, cut out different things that have, like, because I like to cook. And it's almost been, like, yep. a, like, a passion project type deal. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is awesome. But, like, I hate being, like, like, too, I'm very easily irritable with, like, substituting things yeah. like oh substitute this with this it's not the fucking same okay it's no, just it's not, not but it's, it's not. the discipline and i yep. think that's where i like a lot of people lack the discipline of being able to adjust the diet because working out i think we can all agree is healthy for you and most of the time if you're doing it right you almost feel better oh, after. I always so do, like man. like you've accomplished something or whatever yeah, but it's more so me. like Hey, you have to stop eating like a twelve-year-old. Yeah, and yeah, you gotta stop eating like a issue. like a ninja turtle. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. I, right. I feel you on the substitute thing because there's. Pl- I mean, it's getting better. Like you, you think years ago, like just the different things that they had, that was meant to kind of taste like other stuff. It's I don't know. Like there's this stuff called a uh, zebia now. It's like basically. Have right. you ever had that? Yes. It's amazing, yeah, yeah. and it's like no artificial sw- or it is artificial sw- artificially sweetened, but no um like dye there's zero calories a little bit of caffeine like no sugar and like there's some people that are like anti-artificial sweeteners i haven't seen anything that makes me like really worry that much about it so i mean i drink that instead of pop and then like i've gotten to the point where i can literally just shut my mind off and i'm just like this is what i have to eat this is what i'm gonna eat or like you know substituting things it's like right coconut milk i i haven't drank milk in forever because it grosses me out now frankly but like i drank a lot of milk when i was like a child and apparently there's some things out there that say that after a certain point drinking milk doesn't really make sense anymore because it's not really gonna your body's not gonna like right. synthesize it the same way but like right. when you're a kid like you should hammer that shit yeah, yeah. i've never broken a i fucking love milk so, still, so yeah like, i was gonna milk. say yeah. i fall in that camp but too like i can't remember who it was but there was somebody who like uh tweeted something about like how about back when we were in high school like we had like a chicken patty and broccoli with chocolate milk yeah. and that was like you got the broccoli lunch. you got that you know? broccoli well, <laughs> like that's what like was like served with it or whatever yeah. and the broccoli was just like wet leaves that they yep. pulled from outside like it was so gross yeah um but yeah well, but yeah. anyway You're right. uh definitely um cutting a promo here check out Marshall Fitness yep. uh if you want to look more like that and not like this talk to Will Marshall um and i'm sure we'll at the end of the show we'll re yeah. yeah yeah i got a new website too i forgot to mention that so oh I, yeah I yeah yeah had that on there I, okay. so i've i've More been on it that's news. how i think i got the new oh. the new that's how i ordered okay. the new plan so oh yeah, like, yeah yeah you're right you're right you're right yeah it yeah no it's it's good shit so all right well, i would highly we'll recommend the website it. here at the end yeah. but sorry i i kept asking questions and bringing up new topics let's get it's into fine the show. Yeah, yeah it's fine it's fine all right so uh Shit, we could have done two pods. <laughs> yeah, honestly. One was just an interview. Yep. <laughs> hey, I, honestly, I, I can probably split it up at some point, too. But, uh, hey, Will, so that's – I'm probably going to cut this out, so it's fine. Um, hey, so can you just give a quick ad read? This to- this week's topic is brought oh, to you by Marshall Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, am I – right now? Yeah, right now. Like, I, Yeah. I'm saying this week's topic is brought to you by Marshall Fitness. Yeah. Okay, this week's topic is brought to you by Marshall Fitness. Natural. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> I put you on the spot there, and I, I yeah, did it on purpose, I but like. Um. All right. So, uh, this week, since we have a fucking professional soccer coach here, uh, we're doing the worst. So originally, I lowered a vision, and then some of the picks, I think, it was kind of weird. Like, depending on the year, they oh, could be lower the division. Yeah, that's true. So, I just – basically, anything that's not, like, AC Milan, Real Madrid. Right. yeah. Right. I didn't even think about that. None, none, none that. of yeah. the yeah. American mainstream – Sure. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, yeah you got to be from there to follow it. Or, yeah. like, 
you know, you got to yeah. really follow it in order to see that. But, I, I mean, I, I was telling you the best the best topics for the one. I mean, we did, what, worst goalie jerseys last that year? That was our and first that was one. Like, yeah, with yeah. Neville Southall. Ne- yeah. The, the boy. The boy. <laughs> yeah. The boy. Um, but, yeah, I'm, ex- I'm definitely excited for this one. So, Benny, let's go ahead and have you start us off. All right, brother. Listen, I don't even know how to say this, but sh- – Schalke, Schalke, Schalke. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. It, uh, the sponsorship on the front looks like a paper towel brand of some sort. Okay? <laughs> yep, you're right. And then um, they've got some weird like sour straws that are uh, put on the shirt. Um, I, the jersey is just atrocious. Uh, I, I. Uh, I mean, I'm wearing Adidas shoes right now, um, but this jersey is just a stinker. I don't understand these weird, like, talkies or whatever just thrown <laughs> on the shirt, okay? Uh, like, the, there's no separate, like, texture or anything. Like, it's just bad. I, I don't get the, the weird graphics behind there and literally just the logo showing up like it's a foreign brawny paper towel ad. Like, yeah. I just, I can't, I can't get down with it. And uh, this is, like, used by a model or something or whatever, <laughs> this picture that I got just because it was the cleanest picture. Um, but, like, people running around in these, like, I would not take them seriously, I don't think. No, it, the the logo, it definitely makes me think of, like, like the uh, the dollar store version of, like, like, hot talkies but, like, Cool Ranch. Right. Mm. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know what Ractive, Ractive, is that what that is? I don't know what that or, is, but, like. Or a thief. I, I don't know. It's German, so I don't think that's... Be, okay. well, yeah, that's true, I guess. Wait, you're telling me that Schalke is in Spanish? Because that's wild. Um, no, I, uh, I I had to throw this on, and, and something that you'll see, uh, me and Will had all the same picks. Did we really? So, yeah, yeah so two out of the three, yeah. Oh, he texted wow. me after, and he texted me today, and I was like... Dude, I hate to do this. To you, but like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, so it's at least a good thing that we're all gonna be in unison as to what sucks. Page. Yeah. Um, but this one I had to start off with just mainly because like, the the background of the jersey is the biggest thing that doesn't make sense to me, and I hate the dish detergent, <laughs> yeah. type logo across the front. So. I wonder when they changed that Adidas logo. Like, cause I so the, that, the, that logo goes hard. It's a, it's, I love like that the logo. Adidas you got it on your tip yeah. right now. Yeah, see, yeah. like, but, yeah. but now it's, cause like, I have, like, I mean, like, <laughs> hounds are Adidas, and like, yeah. it's not that logo. Well, yeah, it, I think, yeah, that's like the, I think, what the lifestyle brand kind of took that over because they do like all the retro shit, but that yeah. used to be, yeah, yeah. like, the logo, you know? I, right. that's like, a solid logo right yeah, there. Yeah, I like it. But, but like, that also has nothing to actually do with the jersey right. because yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like tough. that yeah. that on its own goes hard. Like I remember I had three different shirts that had that logo big on it. I had a black one with a white logo, a white one with a black yeah. logo, and a gray one with a black logo. Yep. And those, dude, the, I love that logo. They, yeah. they go hard, but that's like the only redeeming quality yeah. of the jersey. Yeah. So, yeah, I had like a UFO Adidas thing. It, it was like that old logo, but like like the shadow of like a UFO oh, kind of coming down. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, man. that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of dope, Freddie Adu jersey. Yeah, right, right dude. behind me. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I yeah. think that was actually my first jersey like ever. But I just thought that yeah, you would get a kick hey, out of it. Then there so. is historical purpose for it. Yeah. Up here. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And no one needs to see my high school varsity jersey up in no, that thing no, so i had to take no, that no. thing out. unless you're welcoming bullying then like, <laughs> I, that's about the it's like wearing your class ring yeah uh, or your varsity jacket is a 32 year old man yeah um yeah there is somebody who played football at our high school that i saw a couple months ago wearing their no varsity way. jacket. It really older than us wow and his name rhymes with matt brunel so <laughs> i uh I, it was uh, very alarming to me uh, that I was like, there's, there's no way. Like, I was like, oh, like, that's an old ass student, you know? And then they turned the corner and I was like, oh, I know you way too well. So, oh my that's God. crazy. I haven't yeah. heard that name literally since high school. So that, that's incredible. Oh, wow, yeah, I, I also, the other time that I've seen him in the last couple months, I watched him get pushed down the flight of steps. So. <laughs> Uh, Where? It, 
it was some bar in Pittsburgh. It was called like, oh, it's gonna drive me nuts. It's called like Casey's or something or uh, something like that. I don't know. I was only there one time. I had a few yeah. Colt 45s and zero zigzags. So, um, and uh, yeah, that was hilarious actually. So sorry if. You know, he's catching ricochet bullets, but I know for a goddamn fact he's not watching this show. He's probably watching kids' huddle accounts and whatnot to compete uh, because he's still wearing his varsity jacket. That's so. tough. That's tough. Uh, I gotta move on. I gotta move on from yeah, that. We have to. Uh, all right, Will, what do you got? Oh, man. So, th- so I, this has been on the show before. Has it really? Yeah, a long time ago. I mean, I like when repeats come up. This was like in our first five so, episodes, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. I see. I don't really know. There's a lot of things going on here. Obviously, like the Colorado Caribou's number one as a name is wild. This is 1978 <laughs> NASL. The NASL doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Like, that, it was a thing up until a few years ago. But <laughs> see, I was looking initially. Like the keeper jerseys are just shirts, and then <laughs> the, uh, the sleeves. Look at those big numbers on the sleeves. Like those look like they're felt. That they were like pinned on the sides. Yeah. Right. Um, right. Right. Initially, right. when I looked at those, I thought because I see like my man in the front here, uh, second from the right, number eleven. Yeah. I thought that they had like eleven, and then it was one and one on each sleeve to make eleven. You know, <laughs> like, that would have been crazy, right? But then I looked at the guy next to him, number fifteen, and it's a fifteen and a fifteen. But like, that would have been incredible, yeah, actually. Like I, crazy move. Yeah. Because then like, what do you, you do? With, like... What do you do with number two? Or like number three. Like, oh, yeah, oh, I guess three? you just pick yeah, a sleeve. Zero, zero or, and three, I guess. You'd have to. Or you pick a sleeve if they're uh, right-handed, left-handed, right-footed, sure. left-footed. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's way too much. Yeah, right? I was going to say. That's yeah. a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. But then the colors here, too, like they literally are the colors of a caribou. Yeah. Like the golden brown with, I mean, not white, obviously, but. Yeah. If you think about the caribou as an animal. Yeah. Odd choice. Definitely. Like, to represent a fierce Our, sports team. Yeah. But to be fair, penguins? Yeah. They're yeah, I mean, a well, true. But, but like, they're going to win the goddamn cup. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they so. are. Amen. Um, but, like, are there are there actually caribou in Colorado? There's a lot of wildlife in Colorado. I don't think caribous are one really? of them. <laughs> I would have thought for sure that they were based I don't on think this, so. I think that's, like, a great north thing, like, up wow. in Canada, but To dude. be fair, there's no penguins in Pittsburgh either. I know, no that's true, the same that's thing. true, so, but... Except at the zoo, and if you've ever seen them do the little March of the Penguins, I'll admit, it's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So. It, also, I didn't notice this before, but, like, that stadium, like, that's got to be where? Because that's a massive stadium. That I mean, yeah, right. that almost looks like the University of Colorado, like say, Colorado it's Boulder. Probably yeah. the oh, shit, yeah, this is Boulder. their... Oh, you think this is their... This is an NCAA team. No, it's not. No, it's no, 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 it's not. But it, playing oh, on the NCAA. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah sure. they, I definitely feel, did. they definitely did. I feel like a lot of teams did that. If, if yeah. it was a small market professional team, they definitely yeah. use whatever stadium oh, they yeah. could find. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You know, just like uh, uh, DC United was using RFK for fucking years. Yeah, because, yeah, they did. And so, but my favorite thing is the fucking tassels, the cowboy tassels on the front. I don't know if you saw that. No, I can't. I didn't see so that. You, I'll you, admit, I can't see it, but just the thought of that is fucking Yeah, but you've seen oh, that yeah, before, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I'm front. saying, like, yeah. individually yeah, right yeah. now. So, you know, like, you know, like, a stereotypical, Fringe. like, cowboy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, Fringe on the, on the, on the arms. Jacket. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. right here. That yeah. makes it so much worse. Yeah, under yeah. the breast, this is, wow. there. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, by, and by awesome. It's incredible, you know exactly actually. I mean, that so, is insane. Yeah. Wow. That I mean, that's just a good choice. There's just so many yeah. things. So also, many I think the actual name of the team was the Caribous of Colorado. So they're wow. trying to pull some Angels of Anima- Anaheim yeah, type shit. Right. You that's, know? Uh, right. Angels in the Outfield, terrible movie. You really? So? Oh, yeah. Watch really? it as an adult. If okay, you, okay, yeah, all right. If, I, if you watch I, I don't as, even want to do that. Because yeah. If you watch it as an adult and forgot about what you saw as a kid... You would hate that movie. I promise Man, you. I, I love Christopher Lloyd. Oh, you don't what? You don't like him? No, that was just an odd thing to bring up. <laughs> like I love. I thought you were gonna go like much. Joseph Gordon-Levitt or some shit because he was. Oh, the he's kid. the kid. Yeah, yeah but Christopher kid. Lloyd's a man, dude. Back to the Future. Oh, Doc yeah, Brown? for, for yeah. sure. I just, well, uh, th- that's just back- an odd person to be like. I love that guy. Yeah, I mean, there were like, other guys to bring up in that movie. Is I just Charlie Sheen bring- in that movie? No, you're no. thinking Major League. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but who's, wait, who's uh, the kid's, like, older brother? Is that, a, is that a popular person? 
He didn't. Did remember. he have an order? No, he didn't have an order, brother. Or I, I don't remember. Well, Danny Glover was in it. Yeah, that much yeah, I remember. Was, but I just remember the kids like, oh, they're gonna win the pennant. And the dad's like, no, they're not. And then that's like the whole thing. That's, that's it. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Win the pennant because like I don't know, dead baseball. If Angel was hanging yeah. on the foul pole, dude. How did no one see that? Yeah, they, they weren't believers, obviously. Yeah, it's like a, a worse version of Field of Dreams, you know? Like yeah, a, like, like a, to me. It's, uh, it's probably the reason for a lot of atheists out there. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people saw Angels in the Outfield and was like, man, this shit ain't real. <laughs> Never, mind. <laughs> Never mind. Dude, I think they made Angels in the Infield at some point, like a few years they after. Really? I think I watched it as a kid, and I don't remember anything about it, but even as a kid, I was like, this is not as good. Okay. <laughs> and like, <laughs> Considering that you are Smalls, right? Did yeah. you ever see the recreation of the Sandlot? No. The Sandlot too? Don't. I refuse to. Don't. Like, it's not the sequel? There's another one? I, I don't... So, they made a Sandlot 2, but I think, I think I'm they... I'm talking, but they did a re I think they did, Sandlot yeah. Back in, like, here, 2010. Dude. Like, no. 2011. Like, There's a Sandlot 3, I think, too. That might be what I'm talking it's, it's about. It's like a direct-to-video type It's with, like, newer thing. kids. It's like a kid yeah. with a Bieber haircut. It's terrible. That's it's tough, just, man. Oh, man. And, like, the acting. I mean, just, like... Jimmy, you hit our baseball over there. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no. And that's the movie. You know what I mean? Like, and, that, and that's it. Like, it just, oh, man. To me, I need stuff. quality acting. But I'm sorry for roasting Christopher Lloyd there and getting no, ricochet okay. shots. It was just like, I don't know. Like, it, it's to me, if somebody was like, uh, like, oh, Adrian Brody is my favorite actor. <laughs> you know, like, it just, and I'm like, well, have you seen The Village? Like, yeah. uh, just, I don't know. It's, yep. uh, I don't know why that was funny to me. I, no, actually, I think I of all, pe of all people to bring up, I think that was, like, <laughs> like an that's interesting who you choice. Were, like, dude, I'm that, not I, shitting on you, it's just because he was character, in character, though, right? Like, there's, like, okay, yeah. I guess I he mean, was the main angel, I guess. Yes, I mean, like, well, I think of Joe Scorden Levitt and him side by side in that movie. Like, they're the, they're okay. the people they use the See, I think Danny Glover first. I don't know why, but, like. he's, the manager? Yeah, he's the manager. But he's in, like, every scene, Yeah, he's in the movie, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a big People have told me I look like Joe Scorden Levitt. I could kind of see Not it. Not right now with Wait, the beard. Wait, for what? Joseph Gordon-Levitt? I've been told what I, about look, him? I look like him. You look like him? Yeah. Like, my, like lighter hair. Yeah. I don't know. I'd no, have to if he had darker I'd hair. I'd have to shave. Well, I, I'm saying he oh, has lighter right, hair. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. And if yeah. you were clean shaven, I could yeah. see it. Yeah. yeah it's, it's yeah. But I would rare. need you to slick it and, and then say, he was the Batman. <laughs> and that's that's what I would need you to do. You know do. the big one I get, though? This is unrelated because we got to keep going. But, like, uh, have you ever seen um You? That a uh, Joe? The all, guy really all the time. Really? See that all one I don't time. see at all. And I'll it's not honest. even just and thank God it's not just from that show, but like it's since before that show was a thing. Like because he was like uh, him and other he was in Gossip Girl. Right. Which I haven't right. I've seen since because people have told me so many times, but when I was in college, like freshman year, like, you know, everyone's just dicking around the dorms, whatever, and there was this girl in the hall comes in the room, she's like, You look like Dan Humphrey. I'm like, Who the fuck is Dan Humphrey? Yeah. And then like since then it's been like several people, like whether it's like Joe from you and he changes his name to Will in the second season. No, he doesn't. Yeah. I only That's saw the tough, first. dude. Yeah. That's I, tough. I <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. He stopped, like, playing weirdos. Yeah. Watch out. Uh, that hinge day better watch out. Wait, <laughs> and, uh, in Gossip Girl, all I know about that show is they gave the main character the worst name of all time in Chuck Bass. Yeah, that's a bad uh, name. Uh, that that's a pretty tough. <laughs> like, to me, if you just told me the name Chuck Bass, like, that guy drives a minivan and goes to local skating rinks and asks girls if they need a ride. So home. I, I was it, so it, it's either that or the opposite end of the spectrum. He's like a black, a black like blues guitarist from like the sixties. Yeah. See, but even then, I think he would be like Charles Bass. Not Chuck Bass. Like, Chuck yeah, Bass right. is like, yeah. yeah, I blacked out my windows because I did my own tint. You know, like, that's, yeah, just like a piece of shit is what I'm saying. But apparently he's some super suave Casanova guy. So. I've never seen Gossip Girl. And I'm not really I've seen a couple episodes. It, so. Apparently it's really good. I think this kid's seen, yeah. the, seen the whole thing. No, see, I got a couple Ricochet episodes from a girl I dated in high school. So it was yeah. like, yeah. I was like, oh, well, that guy is ugly as fuck. I don't yeah. understand it. But anyway, yeah, sorry. Like yep. Uh, Smalls. All right. So, uh, I don't, Will, I don't think I sent you my picks, but, and no. it's kind of hard to see for us, but if you're watching, you can see. So, uh, what division are they? Third division in Spain. La, I'm a, my Spanish is a little rust, rusty. Uh, La Hoya Lorca. 2013 La Hoya Lorca. That's right, right? I don't yeah, know. That sounds we'll just, right. We'll just go with it. Uh, dude, so they came out with these broccoli uniforms. Oh, The wow. broccoli kit. Yeah, mm. call up Dram because we're rolling Wait, in that broccoli. <laughs> oh. 
is oh, oh man oh what a terrible reference but it was so good oh uh, so is that I, i'm sorry i'm really having a hard time like depicting everything yeah is it like supposed to legitimately look like broccoli yeah or is dude it just think like, about think about like a it. picture of broccoli flattened out on a jersey Oh, you're okay. not not so, even so like cartoon like, like cartoonized or whatever you would call, literally a yeah. picture of broccoli like a photograph yeah like a photograph yeah, of broccoli okay. printed on the jersey yeah. look at this photograph <laughs> of yeah. broccoli yeah That's, dude yeah. yeah it's it apparently it's because they are this region i guess is like the vegetable region shout of out Spain. chad kroger by the way <laughs> <laughs> uh, quick little ad <laughs> yeah, there we go uh <laughs> but uh, yeah apparently these guys playing the like the fucking vegetable capital of spain or something which i don't even Damn, they know that that was there. a That's thing crazy. but like <laughs> oh man dude i used to make fun of like um ads for like the pens games and shit where they're like uh, the official disposable wipe of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Like, there's an official everything. Yeah. Like, in in the official vegetable capital of Spain. You yeah. You know, like, yeah. why? Dude, this seems literally brought to you by broccoli. <laughs> yeah. Like, <you> know, <laughs> <laughs> Where's little Yachty at? Dude, I, well, that, I don't think you can see him that well in, in here. Wait, he's in there? <laughs> the way you, the way that that yeah, flows, yeah, that, that came off like that for sure. Yeah, there's no way Lil Yachty is in this oh, goddamn shit. picture. Um, no, but I think I think this guy like up here, uh, he looks so fucking sad that he has to wear this thing, dude. He looks so embarrassed that he has to be a vegetable. Like, okay, <laughs> question for the both of you. Say you you get to pro soccer at some level, which doing it at all. Yeah. Incredible feat. Hats sure. off to ya. Sure. If you made it, I'm not even going to say specifically to them, but like Smalls, I think we've had this conversation about like the SpongeBob uniforms in the G League. Yeah. Like if you made it and you were supposed to be taken seriously as a professional athlete, you had to wear something like this, would you just be like, hey, you know what? I'll wear whatever because I made it to the pros? Or would you be like a little salty about it? I don't know. So if I. I would so I would wear it because at that point I'm like I'm a professional athlete I can't not do it I'm here at the same time though I would not be happy about it yeah I I would I'd be talking shit the whole time but like and I feel like I wouldn't be yeah the I feel like one. you just you just gotta tackle spikes up and be like you just got fucked up by a piece of bro <laughs> <laughs> you know like that's like what uh, has to happen I agree with that what I feel you? like I've been there before with I mean I mean never as like a pro obviously but like even in like junior high like. We had the most atrocious kits in the world, dude. Like, I mean, you, you might remember that. Like, we had kits from, like, the 80s that they just left in I the do box. slightly we remember that. We had Yep. Oh, yeah. so we had the okay, same thing. It, it was, ours were a little newer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah ours were, were those baggy 2000s ones with, yeah. like, these ones were white square. With they had, like, shoulder pads steam on them. Steam-pressed yeah. logo. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah it's but like, I do remember those. But it's like, yeah. I feel like it's a similar idea. Like, yeah, you gotta, you still gotta play, but yep. you can be unhappy about what you're wearing the entire time. Like, I mean, me as a, as a keeper, like, I'm 5'8", like, I'm undersized, and, like, my freshman year at Pitt, like, they got me all XL stuff because they anticipate that that player being large, and I'm not. So, so wait, swimming. so they didn't ask you your fucking size? Well, what happened was, is just because the nature of how I came in, like, the gear was already ordered. Oh. So they order, like, that stuff the year before. I didn't commit until January of that same year. Okay. So the gear was already on the way. Okay, but, okay, but hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. Your Division One Power 5 soccer program. Right. You should be able to order... A new kit yeah. for your for, goalie. For yeah, sure. Like, for like, sure. What are we talking here? Like two hundred bucks? Like without gloves? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know. Like, I, I never asked that question, but I feel like now that would definitely be the case. But back then, like in the very beginning of my pit career, things were very different than they are right now. So yeah. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, I was swimming for like a whole year, and then the next would, year I got my my sizes. That always bothered me if my shit was too big. It's I annoying. Just, it's well, because like it, the whole like look good play good or feel Absolutely. good it's play good or whatever it's like a thing it's it, very much a thing because like you're in your head thinking like holy shit i look like a trash bag out yeah. here like 
you know, yeah, and it's it dumb, depends. but like it, yeah. it's definitely a thing. No, it's real. But you it's gotta find real. that sweet spot with uniforms too, though, because if they're too tight. Yep. Oh, I and, love tight shit, dude. Don't even. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, because like, that is me, fucking personal trainer yeah. over here. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> you could if, go. If you can I, go too tight. But, if yeah. I looked like something that was in an art museum, I'd probably want tight <laughs> shit too. But like, uh, even Stop like it. when I would even. <laughs> hey, listen. Actually, the hinge date is me. Like even when I was like super skinny, I don't. I couldn't have anything like attached to me. Like mm. that's why. Like I wore like uh, like spandex undershorts and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And I had to stop doing that. Like I hate. Like it's really? like it like makes me so hot. And two, I run hot real easy. Like yeah. uh, like. I mean, like, I keep my house at, like, 60 degrees. How are you, you feeling know? in like, this room right now? Cause it's pretty toasty. I'm pretty warm. This might be my last show. Not because, <laughs> like, I want to. It's just I might be dead. So, um, but no. I'll I, have the uh, AC on up here next time. I just couldn't no, have it set up. So. You're good. I, uh, but, yeah, I don't know. To me, you got to find a sweet spot. And I guess it depends on the sport, too. Like, what yeah. you're yeah. wearing. I mean, I was always wearing long sleeves no matter what. You know, and, like, mm-hmm. that's. After a certain point, was that like, a style choice or was that just because you thought it was keeper. safer goalie wise? Because it's turf burn. Yeah, yeah. really. I was gonna say because I see guys with the short sleeve jerseys on and stuff, and then they I make even do it then. they make one dive yeah. and they're bloody for yeah. the yep. next eighty minutes. You yeah. know what I mean? There so, was, yeah. I mean, like I wore shorts, like shorts as a part of the kit, but I would wear like a long sleeve jersey in high school. Um, in college, I wore like the same thing, kind of like. Would you hike your socks up high? The thing you can, but it doesn't last. You know, yeah. like last for like maybe five minutes, and then like. Or would you t- would you ever hike them up and tape them, and try and tape them? I high? tried that once, and then they kind of just stretch out and roll anyway. Yeah. And so a- after a certain point, like, I think there's a mental thing there with like turf burn, where like, you might say it doesn't affect you, but after a certain point, if it's the same spot all the time, yep. you're oh, if, not if you can, do it's it. different if you do it one time when yeah. you're continuously irritating it. Yeah. And I'm sure, I mean, you've been a goalkeeper for a hundred years. Yeah. So I got like, I know that that's stuff. happened like, to it's, you. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it, it, it just, you don't want that. And like, I always felt like I'd rather be hot cause I'm, cause I sweat like it's my job. And so like, I'd rather it is be technically. soaked. It is my job. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Like I've, yeah. And so, I mean, I just rather like be hot than have, you know, take terrible showers and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, and you would, even if you didn't, you would always rather look like the player that busted his ass than the player that didn't. Absolutely. So, yeah. 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 Anyway. I always prefer the long sleeves anyway. Yeah. Like, even. I think it's yeah. a cold look. It like, does. my Sick. player on FIFA, every time, long, long sleeves. sleeves yeah. yeah. Easy. Yeah, it looks and awesome. I wish we had, I mean, we had those, um, yeah. Like player bought alternate jerseys or whatever with the long sleeves. Hey, I like, wish they matched more with the actual jerseys. Right. But like, it, it still looked good. It just didn't match everything else. But yeah. anyway, I'm so sorry. I no, dude. This is what I want. Dude. This is what I want. Yeah. Right no, I know. What time's, like, your, what time's your hinge date? I don't know. He's. It's, that's I, the thing. He's got a date. I actually have. Dude, you're gonna, gonna, you're gonna, gonna laugh. I have a bowling match. Uh, tonight, but it's over in Lawrenceville, so I'm kind of burning time. Oh, Arsenal. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I love that. Place. Oh yeah. She told me to text her when she's done, so I'm oh, okay. I told her I just told her I was like it might be closer to eight, so we're fine. Hey, okay. tell her the vault boys say welcome to Pennsylvania. I will. Yeah, I will tell her that. Yeah, so, yeah. Tell, her Char- tell Charlotte. Shout out Charlotte. Yeah, shout, shout out <laughs> Charlotte. Tell her to watch on Friday. <laughs> shout out Charlotte. Um, uh, yeah, but really fucking well. broccoli, broccoli guys <laughs> over here. All right, Benny, what do you got for your second pick? Ooh. All right. Yeah, these are tough. Um. I know we said we're just going to let it fly, so I'm going to. Yep. Uh, I don't know what the fuck these are. I just, like, <laughs> looking at these uh, from 1995, Atletico Bilbao, I don't know exactly how you say it or pronounce That's right. it or whatever. That's right. Uh, <laughs> thank you, yeah. Dr. Will. Um, <laughs> it's like this weird anemone coral disaster that is up top. Um, I think they saved it with the black shorts. I could only imagine if this flowed down into the shorts, like to try and make the full kit like that. Um, but I don't know. Like I don't know if it's some sort of anemone an or amoeba or germ or blood splatter. I don't know what they were going for here. Like I truly don't know the objective, and it's just like it just looks bad. Um, like they would really get along with the kids in high school who wore the I put ketchup on my ketchup shirts. Like I just I don't. It's like that abstract, you know, where like uh, people who are really into new school art, like they would wear one mm. of these, and it's always a um, a performance shirt, even though they don't perform. And like, in but 
now they are putting it to some use with a soccer team. So it's like, it's genuinely just, I don't know what their objective was. You're not able to read anything else on there. You can't see the uh, emblem in the yep. no. on the yeah. chest side. Like It's like you just see this like weird blood splatter thing, and it just completely missed the mark for me. Yeah. Dude, it looks like a it looks like a pizza launchable. That's the first thing I thought of. You know, you know, like the launchable where with oh, the little like yeah, yeah. circle uh-huh. like crust, and you just yeah. splatter sauce all over it. That's like the okay. first thing I yeah. thought of. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Yeah. I can get down. With I don't that. know if that's what you would want your kit to look like. Oh, but definitely like, you not. Know. Especially again, kind of referring back to the last one. Like, I'm a pro soccer player. Hey, check this out. You know, put that on your hinge profile. You know, <laughs> I guarantee you, you're not getting no play uh, if, if you post a picture in that kit. So, I just, uh, is, yeah, dudes, it's... Uh, it's a tough look. I like, I just, I really, I don't know what it is. And even I was trying to research further into like what was this, where did the idea come from, whatever. And I think it's just those nothing. fucking Spaniards thinking they're fancy, dude. Yeah, Could I mean, well be. a little yeah. aggressive, but I, I, mean, <laughs> I uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm with it, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I just, I, it's truly more than anything, like, yes, it's ugly, but the, the biggest piece to me is I just don't understand the concept. Yeah. Do you know what uh, what brand those are? Like you can't you can't even tell. Yeah, that? It, I can't tell from here. Are they Umbro? I thought they were Umbro when I looked at them. The only thing I can see is, like, the logo on the guy's shorts on the far right, and, like, that looks like, I don't know what that is. I think that might just be their logo. Like oh, the maybe. Like club's the logo, yeah. 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 It's gotta be. Know. It's gotta be Adidas. It's either Adidas could or Umbra. Adidas, it was yeah. also like ninety five. So could like, be Umbra. Umbra was yeah. like it was like Nike back then. Big that Nike, is true. Yeah. yeah. My my first pair of cleats in high school were Umbra. No joke. Yeah. And they fell apart halfway through the year. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Damn. I remember those quick, shoes actually. Yeah. Real quick, go to cleat. You you gotta pick a cleat brand. I'm not saying a specific model or anything uh, like I, that. If if you gotta stick with a brand of cleat, where are you going? Nike. Yeah, so I, I'm going Nike. I can go e- even deeper because, dude, there for a while, I wanted to go to school to, like, like be, like, an engineer for, like, Nike soccer cleats. Like, oh, that's I was, like, that into cleats. Like, yeah. I was, like, looking at the site, like, every day. Like, wow. Like, all the new releases and shit. Nike Tiempos, I think, were my favorite cleats ever, yeah. bar none. They were incredible. And yeah. And I still, well... I don't wear them as much anymore because I go, I'm talking about Clint Dempsey, but uh, <laughs> but I have a pair of T90s uh, uh, that yeah, I actually well, really like. Mm-hmm, so, yeah. T90s um, were nice, too. Th- th- like, it's one of those things that, like, if you saw somebody wearing them now, you'd probably laugh, but at the time, they were hot, bro. They, T90s were See, hot. which T90s are you talking about? Are you talking about the one with the actual circle, like, on the whole lace? Or are you talking about the one with, like, it's got, like, the, no. the weird plates or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the plates. They were black So and I had green. those, too. Oh, yeah. I had those. I had the black yep. and green, yeah. yeah. And then yep. I had the electric blue and yellow. Yes. And I had those. Okay, my that freshman, was a fire color Freshman yep. year, yeah, yeah. I had those. They were awesome. They were my favorite yeah. ones. And those are your colors, right? You guys are blue and yeah. yellow anyway? Yeah, right? worked out really well. Oh, dude, look at you. I know. Yeah. I was dude, on my color game. coordinating. I remember, and, like, me and Grant had, like, bright orange cleats, like, my sophomore, junior yeah. year, and we were blue and gold. Yeah. Like, you, you know, know what's it? crazy about those T90, the black and green T90s, is Wayne Rooney scored his bicycle kick wear. I remember those. that. Did he yep. really? Yep. I guess I never paid attention I remember to that. He had the, the stud team. black and green T90s. Yep. That's sick. Yeah. Yep. That's sick. Yeah. Shit, I'm Wayne Rooney. Look at that. Yeah, it was against Man, <laughs> it was Man, Man City. City. Yeah. yeah, yeah Joe Hart was in the net. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that, your, is that your hero? I, I like Joe Hart. I, I, he's, he's had a Favorite goalkeeper all time. Gun to your head right now. Favorite goalkeeper, go. I mean, it'd be Joe Hart. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Be worse? I don't know. I'm not a goalkeeper. Iker Casillas. Buffon. Good choice. Yeah. Buffon, too, is a great choice. You kind of look like Casillas a little bit. Yeah. I, Could you see that? That one I agree yeah. with. That's really? the one that I actually truly That's agree with. That's crazy. Yeah. Hmm. He um, wasn't the biggest guy either. No, he's like 5'11. Yeah. He's a fucking cat, though. Is this yeah. He's, he can move his... in the chair? Yeah. Wow. Electric, dude. Right? I did not know. It's elite. I had no idea what you were doing over there. Sometimes I forget that Smalls is an engineer, okay? <laughs> and his I mean, I brain didn't build that. No, but his brain <laughs> is geared to have more of these multi-purpose f- possessions, mm-hmm. and I appreciate that. That is awesome. Good call. I wish I brought ice now. That would have been 
perfect. Yeah. Because this 40 is gross and warm, but it's cold 45, baby. I had to do something for the show. This is how we crack it out. You're finishing that before you leave, right? I have to. Okay. I, mean, we gotta do it. I yeah. just I wanted to make sure. But. That's also why I've been stalling. Okay. Because I'm right. trying to buy myself time. <laughs> <laughs> what time is your, uh, your bowling match, dude? Nine. Oh, you got time. Oh, you got so, so got much plenty time. Of time. Yeah. But, Will, I'm not trying to keep you here until then. Yeah. I'm just... No. So, if you're like, hey, shut up, uh, you can do that. Because, <laughs> to be fair, it would not be even the one millionth time that that has been said to me in my life. So right, I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yes, this is, I was hoping this one would get next. This, yep. Dude, this was the number, like, okay, we had two of the same picks. This was the one that I was like, ah, like, I really wanted to go well, off. But it made me so happy and a lot of respect for you yep. as a guest to pick So, this. here's the thing. Now, obvious, there's obvious reasons to choose this, but I have a story <laughs> that directly relates. Oh, to let's go. Okay. Story Something time, like story time. <laughs> so, uh, and I have, a, I have a, I'm just going to get into it. So, I don't know if you guys had like dances in elementary school one at kiski uh yeah I, I wasn't at kiski i was at gcc at the time and we had one in sixth grade yeah we so. had organized this is you're gonna think this is a joke but this is legit and i trust me i swear to god we did grow up in pennsylvania we had hoedowns <laughs> oh yeah, uh that were like square dancing yeah. and things like that that's all we had we didn't have dances in elementary you know school. i grew up in kiski most of my life and i've never heard that that's crazy. Ask okay, well at least at Washington Elementary, which is now demolished. Yeah. Um, the kids who went there all six years A ago in elementary school, we had to line Sounds dance, like square loose. dance, prom- <laughs> promenade. Uh, yeah, dude, like legit. That's weird, dude. Oh yeah. yeah, and we would wear cowboy hats. They would give us like pieces of wheat. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Not that you. far out there. I mean, no. that's just crazy. But... No, dude. But anyway, so, so your story about the tux right. jerseys. So when I was in fifth grade, that was like our first dance, and it was literally just they threw every kid in the gym, shut the lights off, and yep. had a DJ. And uh, you you got the part the red sea in the exactly. middle. Exactly. You know? There's no one yeah. on the floor. Yeah. And uh, I was I I remember like I, maybe the night before, two nights before, I was at Monroeville playing futsal. Um, oh Monroeville yes. Sports Center. Yeah 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 yeah. And I, I remember that. With, um, I was with Vinnie Barone. Remember Vinnie Barone? I do remember so Vinnie Barone, yeah. we, for whatever reason, we were with our moms, and we went to Target after. And we got this big idea that we were going to get shirts like that, and me, him, and two of our other friends were going to wear them to the dance, and we were all going to match. Did it work out? Well, we did it. I don't know if it worked <laughs> out, but... Uh, did, did you pull, like, a stepbrothers thing? That's... Like, like we're going to fuck shit up. <laughs> Like, and you showed up and a girl was I like, hi, my name's Pam. there's a way Pam. that you can, like, kind of show this. Oh, he, he has it up. Yeah, I'm, oh gl- I, I'm, I'm happy about that. Let me see this. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So, I'm going to ask you to send me that just so I, I can will. flash it up I on, yeah, I will absolutely I put this send together. It. Yeah. And the thing is, is, like, I honestly don't feel bad about it at all because I'm just young enough here to not get roasted for Boom. it because I was still Sixth like, grade. very much a child. Yeah. yeah, yeah dude, like, I, okay, first of all, I respect the move. I no, think that's I mean, a power <laughs> move yeah. and it's hilarious. <laughs> okay? Uh, like, to me, you could have pulled, like, a whole stepbrother saying, like, hey, you want to dance? No. Well, come on. Uh, at least talk to me. What's your name? Uh, Pam? Pan? Uh, <laughs> you know? Like, I, uh, I don't know, dude. I think that that is hilarious. So, yeah, I mean, it, we thought it was hilarious at the time. And then, and you know, so the funny thing is, like, about that picture is, like, for that dance, there was a photographer, and they would make those things where it's like you have to like it's like a kaleidoscope. You have to look into it to see the picture. Yeah. Right. So that right. picture right, right there is a picture of the inside of that thing. Oh, I had to wow. put my phone's camera up to the hole <laughs> to take that picture, and that's I was awesome. gonna send it to you ahead of time, but I didn't know if I could find it. And then literally before I left, I found it in my camera roll. Well, it's fine. It'll be in the show. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So that's like, all that matters. Yeah. That's all that matters. But you know, to the point, I don't even know how to say this team. What I don't know where this team is from. That looks like a Chelsea cultural Leonisa. I don't know. It's That's probably not. It's Spain. Like, it's got to be right. Uh, it has to be. To be fair, with what maybe we saw, Italy. The last two were from Spain. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah I got another Spanish one on here too. Yeah. So like, I don't know what what's up with Spain. It, but. As as Small said, those damn Spaniards. <laughs> you know, so they it's just, just a wild uh, kit. Regardless, I mean, like, you know, if wearing it to the fifth grade dance, maybe more okay than wearing it to the. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, dude, the, this is a, I, this is like a hot the, topic T-shirt, yeah, dude. Yeah, hundred percent, it is. I like the the Hummel. Logo exactly where it is, as if yep. it's like a butler's name tag. Like, yeah. I, I yeah. Dude, didn't even notice that. Go, yeah. go yeah. out there, okay, and play. Okay, you walk out, yeah, right. 
and you are getting ready to play competitively and you see this walk out there. Tell me you don't think like, oh, like a beer league showed up to our professional Either game. that you know what or I mean? they're sick as shit. Or, or yeah, or they're fucking one, nice. It's one or of the two. So... It's one of the two. Just put, yeah, just put it back on. It's fine. <laughs> I beheaded a microphone for the first time in my life. That was wild. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, yeah they're they either... could, what if they're sick as shit? Actually, we should... What we should have done, we should have tried to look up footage of them in these, like, yeah. each team mm, and see who was actually nice or not. Yeah. Because then that would make up for them looking so awful. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you got, that's the only way you can really get away with it without ending up on this show. It's like, you got to be really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember playing intramural, intramural soccer back at Penn State. And there, I think we played this team, like, twice in our division. Literally, the team name was Yemen. All United States kids, like 100%. But they all had Yemen national team jerseys. Wow. Like, super good? random. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's crazy. They were, yeah. I played against a team a couple weeks ago in the GPSL that had yeah. Bruges. I almost got in a fight because it was like that heat. It was like a good game. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, do you like them better than Spanish people? <laughs> <laughs> With the, I, fa I will, the fake Yemenese? Yeah. I will say, played high school soccer with Smalls for three years. If any of you know what the mini game World Cup is, right? Mm, yep. You keep her in net, you get a partner. World Cup and was elite. Or yeah. partners, yeah. depending on how big the game was. Yep. Yeah. And then you all, it's a free for all. And whoever scores, you call out what country that is. Smalls never picked Spain. I got stuck playing that game a lot. He man. never picked Spain. Oh, and for oh, you, that's yeah, a nightmare. For you, yeah. for you that's yeah. awful. It sucked. Just yeah. a nightmare. It's, I remember Smale loved it, though, because he would come out super hard and try and shoulder people. Yeah. Well, yeah, because um, he was that sort of yeah, psycho. He'd, he'd you be know? like, keep and try and headbutt you. So. There's no one defends. Like, no one has an incentive to defend. No, yeah. Unless yeah. If you're down you cherry the final pick, two. You're, just you're like, literally trying to by blast yourself. It into the yeah. Net. And yeah. then we'd always make the rule, like, oh, you can't shoot from outside the end zone or whatever, which would mm -hmm. be like, what, the 11 yard line or something? Yeah. Like that. yeah, yeah it's yeah, like, yeah. that doesn't really help me either, but, yeah. you know, it's. Whatever. But yeah, these are tough. These are hot topic t shirts. Yeah, with... that's a hundred percent hot. I that's probably hanging on the wall at hot topic right now. Oh, would you 100%. would you spice it up with a blazer? Ooh. Would you wear a blazer over top? During a game or just in general? <laughs> Both. <laughs> uh in general would be wild. <laughs> okay. Game during warm ups. And yes. Then in general, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in general, like, <laughs> the whole thing, yeah. instead of having, like, the zip up, you know, like, yeah. like just an actual blazer. Man, well, yeah, you're, just, you're like, jogging happen. around with your beats on, you know, like, yeah. all that, yeah. And you got, like, a warm-up. And a top hat. A warm-up that's fashioned like a blazer. See, yes. that'd be fire, actually. Yeah. Like, if it's you, like, like that leaned into it. Yeah, yeah. that material, but yeah, it's, it's, it's like a warm-up with shoulder pads. <laughs> it still and zips up. Yeah. With the little lapels and everything, too. Yeah. Oh uh, well. yeah, it zips up in the middle, but on each side there's still the lapel. Running around yeah. looking like fucking Inspector Gadget. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, <laughs> we are really fucking on to. We got ideas. And if they pass these, let's hit up one of these uh, Spanish teams because it's dude, they're open to state. literally They'll anything. Do it. Yeah, so, like, they, they will do, do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, especially this next one. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, these these were tough. Um, Is that Bible Man in the middle? <laughs> Anybody, anybody watch that as a kid? <laughs> no, hey, but I know who I know what I, I know who he is. But like, so, <laughs> so backstory: my grandparents are pastors. Okay, my my dad's parents. All right, and uh, you know, I have chosen a different lifestyle, uh, obviously. <laughs> and um, but uh, if you pull up anybody watching at home right now. Uh, pull up a picture of Bible Man, and you will find that guy in the purple jersey right there. I promise you. Okay. Hmm. Just with a mask on, uh, not for COVID. Just uh, just conceal his identity. Let me see. You remember that? Blackout Tuesday. It was an Instagram trend. Oh wow. Yeah, I remember that. I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Tough time. Interesting. Okay. Social anyway. justice, not what Bible Man's fighting for. He wants you to believe in God. So. <laughs> he doesn't care what color you are. Believe in the Lord. Ben, you leave me speechless way more in person than you do ever Zoom, dude. Like, it's a... Uh, it's a talent. Yeah. It's a talent. Anyway. Also really hot, and this 40 is terrible. So... Do you want a beer? I'll give you one of my beers. Or, I have to finish this. Okay. I'm, I'm not bitch made. I have okay. to do this. Do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so this is what? <laughs> third division in Spain. Again, CD Palencia. What does CD stand for? Compact disc. Uh, <laughs> Compa 
<laughs> just Valencia. Okay, go on. <laughs> go on. Uh, God, I wish awesome. I... That would have been a clip had you been on camera. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. That was electric. I... I okay. <laughs> Oh, man. How do I recover okay. from that? Like, Okay, so it was well pointed out. Uh, come on, Smalls, have composure. Let's get through this. It's compact disc Palencia. Uh, Holy oh. shit. Okay. Right, so they had Mr. Puglisi for bio. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, no, yeah, it looks like they're literally on the operating table, like, out on the field, dude. Like, I don't want to see this. Like, yeah. I, I, this is preposterous. I read, it, read enough books, saw enough diagrams. This is so. What do you think? Was was this for a certain thing? Like, was there a theme with this? Do you know? Like, was it like uh, this literally? Is a okay, literally the tagline. Biologist night or bro. Some shit. The literally t the tagline is inspired by anatomy. Hmm. That's all the rationale they need. Got to be a school thing. They're like I stay it, in school. I don't yeah, even know yeah, if that yeah, was yeah. it. I think they just whoever was designing these was like, I'm a big fan of the human body, <laughs> like. <laughs> well, and not only that, dude. Check out the keeper. Dude. What are the He's wearing like, like per he, he has purple muscles, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, I wish my muscles like? were purple. <laughs> what? What do the shorts look like? I don't know, dude. I, I oh, it's oh. the same thing. So oh. it's the same thing. They just. I'm uh, so curious. <laughs> it's so it's the same thing. It's just nothing there. Just like the bones okay, and muscles so it's around not, it. Okay, okay, so okay. it's not including the muscle of the pork sword. That's uh, that's not included. Yes. Okay, so it's just like uh, like a let, rounded let me confirm. mannequin. Let me just confirm, but it's I'm pretty like sure a, that's a it. rounded mannequin approach. Is that what we're talking? Yes. The socks would be pretty crazy. Like, oh my god, I'm seeing a quick picture of Bible Man and Larry Boy side by side <laughs> over there. Dude, Larry Boy was Larry electric, Boy. dude. Oh yeah. All right. So yeah, dude. Okay. So I oh, can't. Oh wow. Oof. Yeah, I'll I'll try to flash the picture up, but like whenever Oof. I edit this, but. Yeah, I told you. It's just muscles. <laughs> it actually looks like the opposite Literally of says, what yeah, we're talking Kappa about. reveal shocking jersey. That was the, <laughs> yeah, the headline right there. Fucking Kappa, dude. Yeah. Also, dude, the Kappa logo is wild. It is wild. <laughs> yeah, can we, like, yeah. <laughs> can we readdress that for yeah. a second? Like, why? I had a Kappa shirt, or my brother had a Kappa shirt when I was younger, and, like, I, like, stole it from him because I was like, this shirt's tight. And, uh, well, you, we weren't allowed to wear it to school. Yeah, have you ever yeah. seen the, the uh, I'm just going to say, exaggerated Kappa logos that, like, truck drivers yes. will put oh, as bumper yeah. stickers? Yeah, yeah. Their, uh, Okay, where, where we'll just say that they are enlarged logos? Mm -hmm. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. That they got to have truck nuts yep. on their hitch for sure. Dragging on the ground. Like, this is, yep. yeah, this is the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, lifting the truck literally thirty six inches, which like isn't possible, but you know that they just have two by fours just sticking up in there. I love like, that we made the smooth transition from Bible Man to truck nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy that this is how our show is. Um but so anyway, I'm sorry, Smalls, get to your breakdown. No, please. I mean dude, it, there's nothing else to really say outside of like I don't want to see this and like it's such a weak tagline, like these are inspired by anatomy. Yeah. That's it. And they're just you aesthetically know? unappealing. They are. Like, I don't want to look at this. Like, this th isn't what I want. In the Imagine going to this game and being like, oh, yeah. Like, I'm watching everyone on the field right now just with no skin. Yeah, Bible you know? Man created... Even though, you you know, obviously you know, but, like, it's like what you don't want to think about it. Bible Man created us with this on the inside for a reason. <laughs> okay? It wasn't supposed to be exposed. Okay? So, listen. He knew what he was doing. Shout out, Bible okay? Man. Shout, Shout out, out, Bible he, Man. Bible Man defeated Shadow of a Doubt with positivity. Be a sick band. Um... Man. Oh, in yeah. scripture. It's be a band already. Yeah, so, well, absolutely. Uh, just want to say. What do you think about those goalie jerseys? Well, we're yeah, that I mean, shit I would, for sure. I mean, would I wear it? Yes, I would. Yeah, would you wear it in like? You would wear the purple, not yeah, the red. Okay, correct? we're talking like yeah, co-ed intramural. <laughs> and you, you know, you're yeah. a purple vet because yeah. of Westchester. So. That's true. Oh yeah, yeah that that's is true. true. I did yeah. wear purple. Um, and the purple actually there is kind of cold. I yeah so no I agree Insta dude picks, yeah, I agree. Cool. No, also surprisingly enjoyed the yellow kit. Um, yellow kit yep. too. We had a big we had a fan black actually. Yeah, yeah, black and yellow keeper kits. Yeah. Were you guys Under Armour? Was it yeah. Under? 
Yeah. It, surprisingly good. Because yeah. like, I feel like Under Armour's kind of hit or miss. They've since gotten new jerseys. Those ones were pretty old, I, I believe. Mm-hmm. But, uh... Solid kids, though. Yeah, they, like, like, I, yeah, I liked them. I liked yeah. them. I mean, it was uh, mine was again pretty big, like bigger on yeah, me. Yeah. But that's just how it goes. Was uh, so was Westchester division was, two? Were they? They were division two. Yeah. Okay. So still better than Derek, playing NAIA. Well, oh. you know what his argument's gonna be. <laughs> what national champs? <laughs> we were division one because in NAIA there was only one division. And, uh, so. He was good though. He, he, did, he, did, win, he good. did win a national championship. Derek was but very it good. Was What's NAIA. funny? I actually work with one of his teammates now. We're great friends. Oh really? Uh, they played with him at Point Park. Have you ever yeah. have you ever seen the clip of Derek throwing the ball into his own net? Worst. Uh, yeah, I have actually. I okay. don't know how I have. I've seen that. We've though. posted it. Yeah, like, that's probably we've how. We brought it up and definitely on like thoughts from the bench, like on yeah. the general. Yeah, I pages definitely have seen that, and like, I understand how that could happen. Because, yeah. like, I think everyone's thought about it before. And if yep. you haven't thought about it, you're probably someone that's done it. Well, yeah, and I think the story goes they were up, what, like, 5-1 to one or yeah. something? like. And It was 5 nothing. It, it, in that, yeah, they it, they were up big. He just, you know. And he, he was about to up. come out of the game, too. Yeah. I don't even think he was going to stay in the game. But and, and it's just fun now because Derek. He laughs at Out him, of everybody so. is, like, uh, the most bold out of everybody in terms of like going after somebody yep. yeah so it's just like if you know he'll That's say something to me to, right to get under my skin yeah all i have to do is do a very poor reenactment of him throwing it behind <laughs> Dude, myself that's a thing with keepers like i've never been a shit talker for that reason because yeah. eventually mm. i'm gonna get scored on whether it's a bad goal by me or not yep. it doesn't matter it's like yeah i scored on you shut up and i'm like all right yep. yeah you're right yeah, I'll be honest. As a forward with little coordination, if I scored, first of all, that was a life accomplishment. Yeah. So second off, uh, I hated you guys, like yeah. for sure. Because Fair enough. two, if I did uh, hit a ball, especially like if it was one that I was like, okay, this is a good hit. Like I'm, yeah. I'm really getting a good crack on the ball. And you make a crazy save, and you're like, you're never scoring on me, bitch. Oh, man, I wanted to bite your jugular. Yeah, I Not yours because we never played against each right. other. But um, – but I, but I think that's part of the sportsmanship of the game. Like that's why I love soccer. Is yeah. Yep. To me, like there were kids. At, I oh man, I wish that because you were great above me. Mm-hmm. I wish we were in the same grade. But our senior night, when I scored, there was this kid. I, I scored a nasty header. It was not even meant for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Grant threw the ball from the corner. It like went out and it was like just past where it would have been a corner kick. Yep. It was a throw and this kid that we played with had just he was a football player playing soccer. Yeah. And he just had a toss on him. Sorry, Penn State. Uh he whips this thing and it was meant for Seg and Seg mistimed it and it goes right over his head and I just think right I mean just a little hop, put it under the, the keeper. It was pouring down rain. Yeah. So it like skipped and Gotta slid under down. him, whatever, yeah. right? And uh and like I remember that keeper, like was like, I'll fucking kill you, and I was like, dude, all I did was score, man. Yeah, like, see, that's the thing. Yeah, you, you know. But yeah. uh, to me, you kind of need at least, and, and again, probably not shit talking, but like, you need to have that like spark. Yeah. To be, be, because yeah, I feel like most keepers are more, it, they're loud, but in just like a captain sort of way. Yeah. Oh, you I know? Used, dude, I used to lose my mind like for a period of time there, like five years, probably like through through later in high school, mm-hmm. like sophomore through senior year. Like I used to freak out when I got scored on and not at anybody in particular, but it'd be like just the situation. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, it was just like, I mean, but that was like growing up, I was always told like, Hey, you gotta be crazy. You gotta be crazy. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna be fucking crazy. Yeah. And like, I was, that's what I did. And then I kind of like, after a certain period of time, I was just like, I can't really do this anymore. Like, especially getting to Pitt, I was like, yep. I'm not going to yell at, like, seniors and stuff. Like, you know. Proposition. Super far in advance, all dependent on time. We should do a separate show called Kicking It, and it's a soccer show, and we just shoot the shit. Yeah. I'd if we can put that together, yeah. I'd be down. I'm Like, I'm down. in this type of form. Yeah. 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 I'm down. That'd be tight. So... Mm-hmm. Sorry to throw that in there. No, I, I, I'll keep. We'll keep that in mind. Write it down. Yeah. Bookmark it. Tell Bible Man. <laughs> tell Bible Man. I'm gonna write down. Tell Bible Man. He will make it happen. It. Trust me. He carries kicking a it. sword. I, I see. I don't know if I remember that much about this guy. Now that I you keep talking. About <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, I'm talking, buddy. I had VHS tapes. Okay. Yeah. And I was rooting for the bad guy. All right, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, oh fuck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man. All, All right. right. 
Benny. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> Pick three, what do you okay, got? Okay, so listen, I get that it was two years ago, and he's probably not watching this in jail, but the Tiger King. Would be yeah. elated with these 1992 whole city disasters. Um, <laughs> in uh, in the middle of their chest is just an, an odd Pepsi logo. Okay, <laughs> that does not showcase that it's actually sponsored by Pepsi. Like it just says the word, but it's not the typical red, white, and blue logo that you're used to seeing from Pepsi. It just says Pepsi uh, in a straight um, <clears throat> negative space line in the middle of their stomachs. There. Uh, with these, like, because no tiger is this yellow, okay? It's a good and, point. And, but it's not, like, cheetah either. Like, they're yep. definitely tiger stripes, but it's, like, a bright yellow tiger. So I feel like, uh, you know, brought to you by anatomy, they got the tiger anatomy wrong. Um, and these are just awful. You know, I like the black and yellow, black and gold colorway in almost every scenario. Uh, yep. And maybe that's just my inner yens are crying out, mm -hmm. but especially here these are just a tough look and i don't mean like oh that's tough i mean yeah. like holy shit that's tough like yeah. to to go out there looking like that and i did do some research they sucked <laughs> so like especially in this era like like i think they said were from, they in the premier league or were they like they one were division um down whatever uh championship yeah championship yeah so um from 88 to 96 uh, they didn't have a season where they won more than seven or eight games or something oh, like wow. that, I think. So they were, I mean, Damn, they, they were, were rocking these fits. They were bad. And this doesn't help because me and Smalls have brought this up on the show plenty of times. If you look good, it lessens the blow if you sucked. Yep. Sure. Whereas like this, then it enhances the blow yeah. if yep. you suck. Um, yep. No blow and suck coordination there. That was not meant to come out in the order that it did. Uh, sorry, Bible man, but I, <laughs> I ultimately like like the purple keeper kits aren't the worst thing I in the world. The same but thing. but I think it's because yep. I'm comparing it yeah. to the field players also here. Collars too. So yeah, yeah and that, that is also rough. I've never dug the polo collar look. No, I, I, there's not a single jersey that I think yep. goes hard with it. I remember now in rugby, I kind of well, like I, it. That's completely but different. But in yeah, soccer, I don't different. dig it at all. I no, need a yeah. flat collar, crew neck, v neck at the most. Yep. Um, but yeah, these just whole city, uh, not it, not it for me uh, at all. Yeah, do you remember how like it was probably back in like the night, like all the '90s NFL fans would wear the tiger striped sweatpants. It's that oh, old, yeah, like uh, kicking, pattern. screaming, looking type thing, but it was but, NFL but it, branded. Yeah, I remember like, a buddy but of mine all has the, Bill, the Bills, Bills one. Mafia. Yeah, Bills Mafia. My buddy has the Bills. Have you ever yeah. seen those? I don't know if I have. Yeah, it's like it was like a very '90s thing that like they brought back. Oh. You know, I, I here let me. I'll try to look up a picture of it, but like that's it reminds me of that, but like it doesn't work if it's like your jersey and not like your sweatpants. Yeah, you know I what I mean. mean. Yeah. Like so. I, Keep talking while I'm short. Super um, short too. When I the last Steeler game I went to was last year when Ben was out, and uh, thank God, um, not the future of our program. Mason Rudolph was starting and tied the Lions. Um, that was the last time I was at a Steelers game, and there was a dude that they got up on the jumbotron that was wearing the Steelers version of these exact pants that Smalls is about to pull up. Whoa, uh, those? And they yeah, are dude. electric. How have yeah. I never seen that before? I don't know. Hey, they're awesome, dude. Big big in the 90s and especially still in the Bills community. Yep. They yeah. are, uh, you know, Bills Mafia goes hard. So yeah, well, shout out Greg McAfee. Do. Yeah, um, I, I want to get a Steelers hat with that. I've seen them where it's a Steelers hat with that on the brim. Wow. Oh, that's sick. That yeah. I'd definitely be down for that. Yeah. But, like, I really, it, I like the pattern. It's just... I don't. The thing is, I don't know if I'd be. I think I'd be able to pull that off. I just don't know though. Like, yeah. Right. That's the thing. It's kind of tough. But I'm not very fucking trendy. Like I'm not okay, stylish. Well, neither am know. I. But I don't think those are. So that's like, true. Uh, yeah, that's like true. I feel like it's. Hey, you're, like, you're, me, you wear them to be a jackass. I feel like in the best I way. would be perfect to wear those. Pants. I agree. Yeah. Uh, just in my my boisterous, obnoxious personality, I would have something to match me. And those are just who I am. I feel like Zoolander right now, but that's like <laughs> essentially who I am. Um, yeah. I, I would probably wear that. 
uh, with I actually just got a pirate starter jacket, so they wouldn't match, but Hell some yeah. form of like a starter jacket. Yep. Um, obviously, Bible Man mask. Yep. Okay. Uh, got to show out for the guy. Uh, <laughs> where and then, where um, is this coming from, dude? Uh, <laughs> like, dude, is just like, like you know, everybody's like, oh, go see the, 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 the yeah. good old Doctor Strange movie, the new one that came out. No, I'm good, man. I got, <laughs> I got Pablo I got Man, man VHS tapes. Okay, <laughs> so I, uh, like, to me, hey, MCU, you can put out whoever you want. You ain't gonna the Bible, man. So, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> That's that's all I'm saying, man. Robert Pattinson can never play uh, Batman, that's for sure. That's for goddamn sure. So, and I can say that because I'm speaking on behalf of Bible Man. So I, uh, I feel like you're the only uh, <laughs> big proponent of Bible Man you gotta nowadays. Be Bible this, man. Is. this is a big fucking Bible Man show. We were uh, we were really pulling out all the stuff. They for... sold one VHS tape, and it was to you. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, five. Man. Still all mine. <laughs> oh my god, this is the. I think the, I think one of my title this episode is the Bible Man. Episode. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey, if you didn't pull up those anatomy jerseys, okay, he probably would have not come up. But you know what? He needed to spread his message, and it was vicariously through me. So. <laughs> God bless. Well, God, hey, man. God works in mysterious ways, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blessed is the fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, dude. Be absent with that fruit, or Bible man's coming for you. <laughs> All so. right. <laughs> it's me, right? <laughs> yeah, that's you, dude. Uh, uh I don't know what to say about these. I I think my favorite part is the fact that the sponsor is Pleasure, Pleasure Island. Island yeah, dude. it's not Treasure Island. It's <laughs> yeah, Pleasure, Pleasure Island. <laughs> uh, I because didn't even because I thought dude, initially. Yeah, ben sent me this yeah. pic and like I, I didn't you didn't you didn't this. notice? No, yeah. I just looked at this. That's the it, first thing I saw, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I thought for sure it was Treasure Island, and I was like, okay, and then I looked closer. I was like, that says Pleasure Island. It's Pleasure Island, dude. Which, okay, do you know what Pleasure Island is? No. Can we go further? On I that? don't know what it is. Damn. But I'm imagining I I, because listen, there's a there's a team in the GPSL which is in the second division, and they are sponsored by the Spearmint Rhino. Mm. Are you familiar with the Spearmint Rhino? I pass it all the time going amateur. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. Yeah, it is yeah. a gentleman's club. For yes, those who don't and know. so I don't. I'd be very surprised if blacklisted Pleasure by Island, Bible Man. <laughs> <laughs> very surprised if Pleasure Island. It, at, I mean, this is they're probably League One at this point, maybe maybe League two. I don't know. Still is a big. I've thing. literally trying to sponsor somebody. That's so weird. Yeah. Because it is such like a local joint. I've never been. Yeah. But I pass the sign for it on the highway because that's the way I get to Ambridge all the time. Yeah, they Dude. play in a uh, Pisa League too. And if you look, really? like, if you like Google like Spearmint Rhino, the fifth result is like the Pisa uh, table because it's that's like a... the team is called oh, Spearmint Rhinos. Dude. Dude, you know what we should do? We should make a team at Pisa, the Beehive. I don't think you've driven past oh. the Beehive. It's on twenty two. You and it is been in the beehive. I, well, I've never been in inside the beehive. It's is close it? to Murraysville. Yeah, okay. it's almost to Delmont. Yeah. I swear to God, it could be a shed in a person's backyard that lives. Did in not a know that park. was a thing. It's it's so bad. And this is I'm not. I, have kidding. you been there? Have you been there? I don't no. want to talk about yep. it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Bible it. Man's watching. Uh, hey, Bible man is watching. <laughs> um, this is not a joke. No one's going to believe me, so I feel like there's almost not a purpose in saying it, but I promise to you, Bible Man, that there was <laughs> a one-legged stripper that worked there. No. Uh. This is no joke, and everybody was like, oh, what was her name, Peggy? No, it was something stupid, like cinnamon or some shit, but, like, <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you what, man, the, the body control... She knew what she was doing. The balance, I feel like, that's got to be hard. Like, do you hop? Do you get a peg leg? <laughs> Do you, like, how do you get around like that? And then especially, like, what makes you think, like, hey, let's, uh, first of all, any human to be, like, I'm going to let my life's work be stripping at the beehive. But, like, <laughs> the for, beehive, yeah. but for especially, like, you are already at such a life disadvantage. <laughs> Why are you going to go there? I want to go back to She obviously <laughs> was misguided in her life and never watched Bible Man. I, <laughs> uh, because if she did, she would have never been ending up in that spot. I want to go back to the fact that you meant... So you were like, it's not like she was named Peggy as if that was the better option <laughs> no, like, over no, cinnamon. People, told me, people would like, ask me that when I would tell them about it because, you know, Peg Leg, like the one-legged <laughs> stripper, you know? Like, 
that, that, that would just be like a ironic a name that she could use as like a, a stage name, right? But I, all I know is it was something even dumber than that. I, I know that tough. for sure. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah. So anyway, these <laughs> uniforms, uh, they kind of look like. Okay, do you remember this? I'm talking probably five, six years ago. There was a run. Or, well, th there was a time where men's rompers had a run. Oh, Do yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was... They were, like, being sold that. on, like, Shinesty and, like, Barstool was putting stuff out. Yeah. Um, Bird Dogs was putting them out. Yep. Yeah. Like, there was a run where guys were doing that. I never did. I can't get through it. Mainly because people are like, oh, well, you're just saying that because you think they're for girls. Like, no, dude, I just... I have IBS and I poop a lot. <laughs> so, like, there's no way I'm going to get butt naked to poop every I feel like time. I wouldn't be comfortable. Like, There'd be something... Even though you would think you'd be more comfortable i think i would be self-conscious i don't know why yeah. like just not i wouldn't be comfortable i wouldn't oh, feel dude it. and that's i feel like because you are putting on something that is traditionally feminine i'm going to adopt yeah, that's the, the same thing. mindset of like like i don't know it'd be like hey try our new dress for men like it's i'm not gonna like i'm always gonna be afraid that like i'm hanging out you know like yeah. It's it's one of those things that I would get worried, but this gives me that vibe. If it was just the jersey, I kind of would like to have it as a Hawaiian shirt, um, mm -hmm. like to wear to the beach. Yeah. Um, but the whole kit is rough to be a professional athlete, also sponsored by Pleasure. Island. It does look like it's connected right now, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I don't. There's no way it is. But. Ooh, in the bottom. Okay, I could take the top as a Hawaiian shirt or the bottom as swim trunks. I could do yeah. either or, yeah. but combining them is a professional soccer kit, not the yeah, yeah, tough. Dude, shout out Bird Dogs. Bird Dogs are. I have shout two. I have two pairs of Bird Dog shorts. I Incredible. Have, I should. Uh, I have. I've always yet meant to look into. They're some they're, so they're so comfortable, man. I have yet to buy them, but I always hear they, great things, and I love their marketing. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Great job, of Mark. So it, it's tough because, like, they are sixty dollars for a pair of shorts. Yeah, so, like, it is it, that's off. hard. Yeah. But like, if you ask, if you ask for them for like a gift for Christmas, you feel a little Denizen. less guilty about it. True. Huh? Target. The pants I have on right now. Yeah, uh, I mean, so, yeah, I, I'm not a ball. I'm, I'm obviously Target. not yeah. a like. Yeah. Okay. Snob. So, all right, well, not even that. Uh, newsflash, everybody. I didn't finish college, so I don't have an awesome job, okay? <laughs> so, like, uh, my uh, my fashion choices typically are more for functionality than they are for my taste. I do actually have a very good taste. It's just what I actually put effort into either putting on my body or investing in. You're sitting next to the kid wearing Lululemon. So. I wear Lululemon pants. I, uh, I get I so are, is it worth it? That's Absolutely. not me. Hey, that that's not me. I'm not dogging yeah, people yeah, no, who no, spend I, I good you. money on no, clothes. No, no, uh, because I yeah. I wish, and I'm not. I'm I not can't trying bring to myself a poor to it kid. either. It, it's Personally, just, I can't. Like, if I find a good deal, I will. Yeah. Well, but the like, thing is, is like these last forever, and if they fall apart, you take them back and they replace them. Really? Yeah. Okay. See, and and it's know, comfortable and enough for it to be worth it. Yeah. And that's rather okay. Like, and I don't I don't need to know how much these pants are, but let's just say they're eighty dollars. They're one hundred twenty-five. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Let's just say they're one hundred twenty-five dollars. Okay. And uh, you get other th these. Do you count these as pants or joggers or like are these? These are pants. Like they have okay. a button. I have them rolled right now. Okay. But, so um, say you get other pants that are sixty bucks a piece. Yeah. Right. If those naturally expire or ruin themselves in the time that you would ruin one of these pairs of pants most other places aren't letting you get no another yep. pair that's the thing yeah your investment so i didn't know that so that's actually pretty good yeah i didn't know I, that I had a pair of shorts that my dryer ate the strings like it got caught uh, and spun around like that's just so annoying you sent it back i just took it to the store i went to ross park mall I was really like, hey, my dryer ate these can you replace them and they were like yeah no problem Really? Shout out Ross Park Mall. Yeah. Shout out Tim Secreto at Ashley Furniture at Ross Park Mall. All your furniture needs. See Tim. <laughs> he lives with me. He works off commission. So, uh, yeah. yeah. There we go. Uh, damn. Well, yeah. It, so, still, 125 it, I think if someone bought them for me, I would feel less guilty. And I would still only ask for one pair. I also get a discount because I'm a personal trainer. Okay. For your, that. Pant, <laughs> for your pant needs, ask Will Marshall. <laughs> For your furniture, I haven't, looked, I haven't looked at the check, but can I trade that for a pair of, of discounted? <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just no, kidding. I mean, <laughs> for all, uh... for all Lulu pant needs, talk to Will Marshall. All furniture needs, talk to Tim Secreto. <laughs> all life needs, talk to Bible Man. Uh, you heard it here live. So, 
Oh wow. Okay. These are the Scunthorpe, you <laughs> suck. <laughs> also, what a name for a club, dude. Yeah. Scunthorpe. Yeah. Scunthorpe. I feel like that's a uh, it, like like a dig on someone. Is it actually it's Scunthorpe, Scunthorpe or is it Scoonthorpe? Maybe it's Scunthorpe. I, I think it is Scunthorpe. I don't that's think it's tough. Be, yeah. Dude. That's tough. It, yeah. See, that that can't be a name. Like, Neville Southall. <laughs> like, Neville Southall could have been a name because it is yeah. a name. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it was a stage name like Peggy or Cinnamon or whatever the hell her name was. I, uh, I got a lot of wild names on England. Like, a lot of the teams are... A lot of them do. Gayville Even, like, Town okay, you and... think of a more uh, prominent team like Wolverhampton. Yeah. That yeah. is a crazy name. Like yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. yeah, well, yeah, and and to go by, and of course, this is the dumb American in me, but like to go by wolves and not the wolves, or yeah. like, I don't know, that's kind of weird to me, but yeah, that's the Yank in me talking. But you sure. know, what are your thoughts on that? No, I'm, I'm chilling. <laughs> you look like you had something to say, dude. Shout out to Marshall and the Riverhounds. Come on, you hounds! Nailed is that, that. Is that the chant? Yeah. One of them. I I, I, I still gotta get to their game. Bunch, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's another have. one. He's hitting this, dude. That's yeah. that's tight. I yeah. yeah. That's actually a good hey, chance. Listen, yeah. you you gotta be able to come down and steal army, okay? Mm, okay. You, you you gotta let us let off paint rockets dude, and they bass don't drums. Quit, man, and, they go for a full ninety. They oh, put that's in, awesome. They put dude. in a shift all the time, and I'll tell you what, God forbid, like, to all your. Keeper brethren who have to stand in front of them. To me, and again, I'm not downplaying the USL, but you think like I'm not going to deal with like a harassing crowd. Like yeah. people are here to watch soccer. Yeah, I'm not going to deal with super fans. It happens everywhere. Like it's not even just us. Like it's like every even just about the, you're saying in the USL. Yeah, this happened. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, really. The steel. Okay, but to be fair, the Steel Army was kicking bricks back when we were in high school. Like yeah. they've yeah. been consistent. Yeah. for a long they're time. They have a bunch of OGs. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Damn. I, I The vault goes to the, the Hounds game because we're already talking about going to PNC Park for a Pirates game. Oh, yeah. So, like. We could get some excellent content out of a Hounds game. Yeah, sure. Oh, my God. We catch Will in the field after That's the game when saying, they dude. let families and kids go out. Yeah. And they're all we do that pictures. again now. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we didn't let people on for like two years just for, for COVID. Yeah. Now, but now it's back. Yeah. I remember cool, one of my favorite memories, period. I think I was a junior going into my senior year in high school. Uh, for Fourth of July, there was a game, yeah. and after the game, they would light off fireworks. Yeah, I used to go. I went to that game like every year. Yeah, it, to me, that was like one of my coolest memories yeah. ever yep. as yeah. a kid. So I've got a lot of affection and, and love for the Riverhounds. Yep. So with you being involved, like I admire you. I think that's Thanks cool you. as shit. Yep. Obviously, you know, I I grew up actually paying attention to certain players like Hunter Gilstrap, right. Danny Earls. Like there were guys there that I was like, oh my god, like. That's got to be me someday. Yeah. Now this is me today. So, yeah. Thanks a lot, Bible Man. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Always throwing it back to back Bible, Bible Man, man dude. Not on him, though. Not throwing it back <laughs> yeah, to Bible Man. Yeah, that's true. Because he's that's abstinent. So. Um, all right, so this is <laughs> this is my last pick. Whoa. Dude, I uh, go first. I have a comment to make, and I'm hoping you don't make it first. Okay, dude. So all I got... I, I'm just gonna say this, like. Oh shit, that's a hot dog. I need that. So there, actually, there are a lot of directions I can take this. Obviously, these are fucking preposterous. Oh, like, so bad. by by any definition of the word preposterous, this is that. Um, like, and the first the first thought as I was making notes was just sausage fest. Sausage fest on the field, but not at the Quality. club after the game, because no no women want to go to the club with these guys after wearing these shirts. Right, and Bible so. man's watching. So <laughs> no, none of that. Yeah. Um, but for, first for of all, up, yeah. What the heck? Uh, the, the fact, fact that yeah. heck. Oh heck! Oh, oh heck! Yeah. That is that is the funniest thing in the world. I don't give a heck. The, like, Bri- the is, British so- uh, sausage brand. That is oh, so. That's what it is. Yeah, it's that's, okay. th- that's the brand. It's a sausage. You really brand. saved the best one for last. Um, yeah. these are a Father's Day special. I have to imagine <laughs> yeah. with the yeah. grill and uh, in in <laughs> are those okay? Are they brats or hot dogs? So these are sausages. Sausage sausages, if you will. No, no, no. Those are for dogs. These are sausages. Is that a for chicken? Fucking men. Is that a chicken on the keeper's kit right there? That's a chicken, right? 
I think it might just be a grill. I don't know if there's anything. Well, on there's it. a grill, but is the there chicken? chicken on the? I, I know. I I can't it looks see like it. barbecued it. smoke. It looks like it's underneath the. the I, that's what I'm thing. saying. I, yes. I I don't know I'm if it is chicken that, though. Right yeah, like on the on the yeah, like this way on the on the keeper kit. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's what I'm, I don't know if it's chicken or because like who the fuck would eat, even if you're an idiot to designing a jersey, I'm, who uh, would put the chicken under underneath? The grill? I know. Is 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 a Christmas gift maybe for Marshall Fitness? We should get him one where it's a hibachi grill. Oh, on a keeper kit um that would actually be electric yeah, we're, we're, sick, dude. he's, he's yeah. whipping With it the up in the volcano kit. just chewing now, what's the sickest uh goal of jersey you've that's ever a seen? great question yeah. i've ever seen yeah that you've ever seen and then dual part that you've ever worn yeah because mm. i feel like what you've ever worn obviously is it's limited, limited, limited yeah, yeah, yeah. because you don't but, have the choice yeah, yeah. well right, you do to an extent talked about this like, though because like the first the first one we did it was an honorable mention. It was remember that that Joe Hart kit from the Euros, right? That one with the yes, crosses. We did. That yeah, one yeah, was yeah, my yeah, favorite yeah, because yeah. it was Umbro because I loved Umbro stuff yep. at the time. And then that one I just thought was sweet. And I was just like, if I roll out to a high school soccer game yep. wearing this Euro kit, I'm gonna look sick. Yep. Yeah. People are gonna think I'm either sick or they're gonna think I'm shit. And so I gotta, you know, what's gonna happen? But um, I don't know. I mean, like, it, I feel like by now they kind of seem to repeat themselves. It's mm -hmm. all like kind of in a way. But yep. the best one that I've worn. I mean, like the Westchester kit was dope, but like I, it wasn't my favorite. I think my favorite was the red uh, pit jersey my senior year. It was like uh, that did look I good. Saw that yeah, also, it was like black, yeah. black, and then it was like the most vivid red I've yep. ever seen. Like, which is crazy yeah. because it's yep. so like not pit at all. And granted, no. you always have to be different from everyone yeah, else, yeah. but but there are schools it, that it have team hard. rules where like so like I almost went to Baldwin Wallace, and their school their colors were brown and yellow. Yeah, and they had a team rule that no no um player on the field could wear colors that weren't the team colors so like like cleats which that kind of well no no the cleats were fine but it was okay. just like the jerseys like so like if the okay. team was wearing yellow the keeper had to wear brown and vice versa yeah, yeah. and uh, so that's like tough. that's rough and i've always thought it was sick when like you take a school like pit that has like you know traditionally blue and yellow and you yep. throw them in like right. red or like we had like a bright green that year like a volt color that right one was pretty dope right too. See, one thing that I always love, and it, it almost never happens because one team is typically always wearing it, but keepers in a white kit, if white they get the yeah. chance, yeah. Yeah. is so dope. Because yeah. like, Well, I think any player, keeper or field player, yeah. in, a, in an all-white kit, white doesn't or all-black, so is or all after one wear. Yeah. You get, it's, it gets absolutely toasted. Like, I, I wore yeah. white 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 red one year for high school and like mm -hmm. the socks were gone yeah i remember for playing right. for foothills and like the white shorts were like that was like the cleanest i feel like i ever felt yeah on a soccer field was just wearing the white shorts yeah because like and like we never wore white on top it was always blue or red but like right. the white shorts just completely yeah it looks dope it. If you can pull yeah. it off yeah yeah all right so what about this you play sunday league right yeah have there been any outrageous goalie jerseys mm -hmm. in sunday league um I mean, I and if not, you should. I should get something like a hibachi grill. <laughs> I've, right. or, I haven't worn anything crazy. Or, Hear me out. <laughs> Bible man goalie <laughs> kit. Okay, listen. Bible man, right there on the front hey, the chest. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And and if uh, with the with the old school elbow pads too that people wore in like U twelve, dude. And, and if, someone, ones, yeah. if someone scores on you, you're going to hell. <laughs> you know, just like, just a real quick can't do that. Uh, no. Anyway, first anyway. goal, first goal I ever scored was against the keeper wearing a Spider-Man kit. I've so, seen that one. Yeah, there's so, that one. There's the clown one. There's like a scary clown one. Yeah, yeah, that one's. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of that one, I dude. I, I don't even really hate clowns that much. It's just not. I don't fuck with clowns. I, you, don't you, you can't clowns? be, no, to no. me, it goes it's back more to like about just metal. the overall style, oh, yeah. but yeah. I feel like in high school you can't go graphic with a kit. Like, it's got to be no. a cool it style, be a color, but not like... Yeah, you can't have, like, friggin' Ronald McDonald on your kit. That'd be crazy. <laughs> that's Especially cool. as a high school kid. I mean, what about, like, a Sunday League now? I mean, I'd rock it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a pretty dope paint kit back, like, when I was in sophomore year of high school, but it was like a, it was like a Riverhounds one, so you got a kit for going oh, to the okay. goalkeeper academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need, like, a, like as in today's day and age, you need, like, a rap on your kit like oh, like wrap snacks uh, yeah wrap snacks kit. yeah <laughs> yeah dude I, I, so i was down in atlanta when wrap snacks was like hot in the streets like right when i yeah. first came out and like two chains was, was like the first flavor oh yeah and like two Peter pablo take your shirt off whip around your head like a helicopter yeah, yeah. dude i went to the Shout fucking two i went to the trap house down there i lived a mile away from the pink trap house on his album 
Holy oh. shit. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and you're alive, so that's cool. No, nah, it was actually chill. There were a lot of like people making like TikToks and like Twitter, oh, and Twitter videos, yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. there, it was also weird. There were like six year old girls like doing like a pr- provocative dance because they were in front of Two Chains' house. I felt weird about hey, that. Yeah, that's but cool. like, but I there's a picture of me on like the beat up pink car in yeah. front of it. So. Wow. Well, it's probably because they grew up on rap videos and not Bible Man. <laughs> so, <laughs> listen, there's, they would have never had a shadow of doubt of uh, where they needed to end up in life because it sure as hell wasn't in front of that uh, trap house. house. Yeah. The the literal yeah trap house yeah. spray yeah. painted on the front. But other houses in Atlanta, Waffle House. Uh, have you been to Waffle House? I never have. Always you should, so you should always get a Waffle terrible house service only at night. Yeah, so and always terrible service, but the food is so good, and especially if you're trying to sober yourself up, hit up a goddamn Waffle House. Yeah, My friends great. have a running joke that they've never seen anybody come out of a Waffle House. They've only seen people go in. Yep. And no, that's a real they, thing. They think that whenever uh, you go in, you get turned into a waffle. Yeah, and so that's, fair. Uh, that's just yeah. how it goes. So, so our uh, our fantasy football uh, uh, punishment this year was either you had to get an ass tattoo saying last place of this year wow or the waffle yeah. house challenge so you have to sit in a waffle house for 24 hours or eat 24 waffles oh i've heard of that yeah and that's... it's whichever one comes first yeah so like and honestly i'd take the <laughs> tattoo if i if i'm being honest be i would take the tattoo. tattoo i get the tattoo but i'd also yeah. want to try the challenge at the same time so maybe i just lose twice on just do oh, and yeah. also uh this is just a gripe for the company okay uh, I won the Thoughts from the Bench Fantasy League this year, and I have not received shit. <laughs> yeah, how about that, dude? I won it. I was in the, I haven't played the last two years. The last time I played, I won. I didn't get anything. I uh, I, I wrote a blog. Year. That was that was and, my prize. I wrote a to blog. To be fair, I was the last seed who made playoffs, and I won the whole thing. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, I'm so Dre, you owe me. Deke, you owe me. Josh, you owe me. Greg, you owe me. Everybody that really isn't him, owe me. So. Uh, something. I need a trophy. I need free merch. I need a salary. Um, I need a signed VHS tape by Bible Man. I need you to do something for me. That that's is the only thing he actually for, wants, dude. Yeah, that's what for matters. me to have done so. All right, but anyway, sausages, dude. Like. Tough. Tough look. The, I almost respect it because it's like that preposterous. Yeah, it's right. like, over the top. <laughs> right. The fact that they incorporated the bun is like yeah. almost the best part. It, Tim Robinson, you ever seen the clip? At like, <laughs> we're all looking for the guy who did this on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The first thing I thought of, yeah. dude. But like the fact that that they went with the bun, plus they went with the grill on the goalie kit. Yeah. I almost it's terrible and absurd but i almost love it yeah, yeah. because it's it's that crazy it's yeah great yeah. yeah exactly dude exactly oh heck oh heck oh i don't give a heck <laughs> <laughs> all right boys that kind of wraps us up right there oh a marathon it. i'm so sorry will we made it <laughs> we are really keeping you from other engagements that's all right uh um, it's only hinge dude yeah it's only hinge is she, is she, she's what, gonna, what if she's, she's literally going to be in Pittsburgh for a lot longer. Well, what, what, if, just what if she's here, wifey so. and we're keeping him from making that first impression? That's true, dude. You never really know, do you? Hinge is designed you for you to know. You know, delete it. That's it's what either the commercial that or says, the story. dude. That's I what thought, the commercial says. I thought I was friend-zoned, and now I've been in a relationship for almost two years. There you so have it. You never really know. I'm sure Smalls thought he was drunk tripping over words, and now look at him. They I are, am. They, well, <laughs> true, but we've got a beautiful house now. So that is true. Yeah. Let's, uh, that is you true. Know, yeah. You never know. It's the only good but, luck. By hey, the thanks, yeah. dude. The one and only uh, time we'll I used a line was on my girlfriend, and it wasn't like a cheesy pickup line, but it, it worked. Like a verbal uh, line, not yeah, like a yeah, cocaine. Yeah. It was. It was. <laughs> well, so all right. So it was Halloween, dude. It was Halloween. Okay, so wait, the the way that you phrase that, like, just either kill the cocaine thing or admit to it, like. Oh no 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 no. Okay cocaine. okay no no cocaine. No, no cocaine. No cocaine. None of that. Uh, uh, chip HR no. No no cocaine. no cocaine. Um, but it was Halloween, dude, and I don't know why she said yes to get me buying her a drink because I was wearing I was dressed as a track star and my shorts oh. were like up here. Dude. Oh yeah. But like yeah, it worked. Oh dude, so. nice. You were the quad father. She was in love with them legs, boy. Quadzilla. legs Benedict. Dude. Yeah, the <laughs> legs Benedict. Benedict. <laughs> I've never heard that before. That's I love awesome. That. that is awesome. 
That's awesome. Um, all right, so before we wrap it up, Will, could you plug yourself, please? Oh, of course. I can definitely do that. Uh, you can <laughs> shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up, dude. <laughs> Got a new website as of three months ago, marshallfitness.online, no longer dot .shops, marshallfitness.online. Uh, I got testimonials, transformation pictures, uh, hoodies, shirts, all that different stuff on there. Um, Instagram is at willmarshall underscore one. Facebook is my name, Will Marshall, um, which I do use Facebook a lot. You, you'd be surprised, but it, it's not set up the same way as Instagram. You know, it's kind of weird, but you have to add me as a friend, whatever. But um. Yeah, I got business cards over the city now too. Uh, there's a new juicery in Southside Works. It's like kind of like I've similar seen you post idea. About that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I, you know, I I know the kid who managed it. He, I went to high school with him, yeah. so they have my business cards right in the front. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm around, so you know where to find me now. There we go. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, Hell boys. Yeah. What what do you think of the studio? I, love I it. gotta admit, okay, we've been doing this. This summer will be two years. Yeah. Right. Yep. Uh. Truly, and this is not a dig to any former guest. Uh, this is not a dig to ourselves of any episode we've ever done. There is a different energy to doing this in person. This yep. is my favorite episode we have ever done. Yep. Um, and because, Will, I think, like, we've – you obviously – you've known him on a personal level for a long time. Yeah. And I've got to know you through the show right. and things like that. Um, you just fit in, so that also helps. It'd be different if we had, like, a first-time guest. Like, yeah. I think, like, we're Third just timer. all on such a good level that, like, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, but, like, being here, dude, it is just, uh, I, I love doing this in person. This yep. is my favorite episode we've ever done. Yep. yep. Um, and that is, without a doubt, that is not to patronize or to make you feel better. This is just straight up. And I drank a piss warm 40 the whole show. So, yep. whole time. Like, um, and even more than jerseys, more than life, Bible Man was the hottest topic <laughs> yeah, dude. of the yeah. entire episode. And this is my favorite episode. Yep. So, um, I love this. And feasibly, we're not going to be able to do this every week. Uh, not every week. But, but yeah. yep. After this experience, I want to do it more. I, I want to do it as, as much as we can without making it too cumbersome you know what i mean yeah. like i i don't want to i don't want us to just go way too far out of our way to make it happen but i also want to make sure that it, it does happen you right know? and go back to kicking it and the idea of that <laughs> there we go point. yeah yeah there uh, we go i think from a pro soccer coach we'll we'll even we'll, we'll corner you into professional goalie coach yeah okay? yeah sure um to new the most like straight face I've ever varsity seen. coach right there like yeah to sure. <laughs> out of shape <laughs> living in the glory like. days varsity high school coach and just us like actually enjoying soccer like truly enjoying yep. it yeah um which is weird because i wasn't very good at it but i love it and it's like ben i love you dude you were not very good no 100 yeah. percent. it just i i had a leg and i was angry and that was it i had no foot skills sometimes i can uh, do it yeah. you know I, I was a body to throw around yep. yeah and have you ever seen so have you ever seen the picture of me and ben so his it was was it your first goal the one with you and Tom. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, like, yeah. I, I think it was. So he was playing on the JV team, and me and a few other guys were just waiting for the varsity game to like start warming up. Yeah. And like, he scored his first goal, and like, it was a PK too. Yeah, and like, it was yeah. it was one of those things where like we were just so I, I gotta find the picture because like we there's a shot of us literally midair, and I have Ben's head like in my palm right here. <laughs> yeah. My my face is like the biggest grin you will ever see. <laughs> yeah, like. Sick. But like, yeah, dude. Anyway, soccer. But Kick yeah, it. we we gotta we gotta reattack that at some point, or at least yeah. think about it. Yeah. You know, yeah. special edition, special yeah. edition in the vault. I like that. I yeah. definitely like that. A little spin off, like, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Like monthly. Yeah. Even. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah even actually, over Zoom and like whatever we gotta do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do whatever we gotta do. Yeah, I would take that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. It might be the Colt Forty Five talking, but it might be the Colt Forty Five. I get a Done so. There we go. Yeah, there we yeah. go. That's what I wanted. Uh, Will, how do you think you did on your third appearance of all? 
Cause Cause I, you you did phenomenal. Oh, so, thank, you. Like, thank you. Yeah, I feel yeah, like a yeah. vet now. You know, it's it's uh, it's uh, yeah, dude. You know, it is. It just is. It's different. It is different for sure. Like, I mean, yeah. being in in person is like a way different thing. I mean, like especially because this is actually the first in person podcast I've ever done because mm. I was on another. I was a co host on another one for with Hunter, right? With Hunter, yeah, yeah. for probably a year and a half, yeah. and we never did it uh like side by side. Mm-hmm. And we, I mean, that was a, that was a tough one because we, we would yeah. do it where like. I'd hop on at three o'clock because he'd be like driving home from work and it was the only like free window he had. And yep. So we'd record from his car. And he like, is just... busy because I'm trying to get him. I've been Are tr- you really? I yeah, was, I, I, was I, I want I that. want to get him on. It's just it the schedule's tough. Yeah, yeah. The schedule's and tough. I'm, I'm trying so. to take time to compose myself. So I'm yeah, freaking out. you're going to fangirl. Yeah. Oh, I love that, dude. Yeah. When he yeah. played for us, yeah. I was. it was like, like, you know, we were talking earlier about like uh, a goalie's energy. Yeah. You know? I just, I loved his, like, he was a guy, like, if he made a crazy big save, he was turning around to the crowd. Come Getting on. hype, yeah. You know, like, oh, my God, I ate that shit up. It almost inspired me to be a goalie, and then I was like, I don't want nah. that pressure. Yeah, yeah. The pressure that keepers are under yeah, always sucks. gets. It's a bullshit-ass job. Always it's fucking, gets. <laughs> it's a bullshit-ass job. Yeah. It's like it's, but it is nuts, dude. It's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. crazy. And man. that's why a lot of keepers, I think, like, and I don't, I'm not saying this in a derogatory way, but, like, struggle a lot or kind of like wild card type now you are one of the most cool comp collected people i've probably ever met Thank in my you. life but <laughs> well, I've, had, like this. I've had kids play for me and i've been friends with guys who were keepers that are just loose cannons and yeah. i think dude smells like, like loose cannon and, and it's because yeah. you, the the immense pressure. amount of pressure because even if you have no defensive help the goal is going to objectively look like it's your fault you're still alone yeah, yeah. 100 yep. it's, it's, no matter what happens because yep. whenever a goal happens People who don't intricately know soccer exactly. say th- – they're never going to say, oh, well, his defense abandoned him. They're yeah. just going to say, he's a keeper. That's what his job is. He's supposed to block yeah. that shot. Yeah. Right. They don't understand the intricacies. No. Of let, let me ask you this. As a non-keeper, and I'm coaching JV, assistant coaching varsity this year, how do I coach keepers not knowing how to be a keeper? So I'd say the – Short answer because – Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Short answer. So the, the one thing you just got to figure out – a set position teach them how to set and like that's something that i mean i could i could show you that very easily like i mean mm-hmm. hunter has a bunch of videos on his instagram for him we used to do the gk for free content and stuff but mm-hmm. set position can be the most important and then timing so you want them to be set before the shot comes obviously because people set uh subconsciously no matter what yep. um like you guys would do it if i hit a ball at you like you would set yep. but it just wouldn't be as efficient and then angles that's gonna be the most important thing and so like okay there's a way with the goal that you can take like two uh, extension cords and tie it to the post and then you drag it all the way out to where they meet and it makes a big triangle yeah and then it'll you can move it all around and it'll show you like how much goal they have side to side oh okay and it puts, puts them in the middle i and like then you that. can have you can show the depth like how far away they are if they're on the line it's mm. bigger yeah it's it's a it's a okay. common like yeah it's drill. like i know like um like when i was being taught certain things to coach and stuff like I had a, a keeper's coach tell me that he calls it headlights because of, like, how strong the light is the closer you are, but yeah. you still need to be able oh, to cover yeah. that depth. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. In those, like, cone-like mm-hmm. areas. So yeah. uh, it is it is it is definitely tough, and we would – because, like, it, coaching high school, you get a generalized sense of how to coach everybody. Yeah. And those, the way that their high school brains work – is different you got to find what what works for each yeah. kid yeah of course well we could definitely use some tips from the actual kids. yeah no nah, dude I can, I yeah i can uh and we don't I mean, have to go in depth now but yeah like, i can push in the right direction yeah, there we'll, sure. we'll yeah. talk on kicking it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. And there we yeah. go there we but, go uh, uh boys it's been electric i yeah. love this yeah. this like, this is truly like this is why i've been po- i knew that this was gonna happen like, i we went ser- off the rails a lot and that's what i wanted my yeah, you serotonin know? Yeah. levels are through the roof yeah okay uh very happy with this so will thank you yeah so thank you for ha- uh, yeah. being on the first live of course. Thanks, Thanks, i'm happy yeah. to be the first thank you for hosting Oh yeah, yeah. Because I sure shit can't do this, so I'm I'm happy yeah. that it that wasn't too can. hard. It wasn't too hard. No, but, no, yeah. no. This was uh, I've like genuinely had a really good time. Yeah, this is what I, this is what I wanted. So, uh, all we right. hope you enjoyed it too. Yeah. Shout out Bible Man. Shout out Bible hey, Man. Listen, dude. if there is anything you take away from this episode, <laughs> okay. Wait, hold on. Hey, I, if, I'm gonna hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try to see if I can get. Nope, never mind. Can't do it. I was going to try to get you one-on-one on the camera. Can you do it even with one of my picks? Don't worry about it. 
I, I'll get it. Yeah, I'll get it on. Oh, by the way, good segue. The Vault has a TikTok. Hey. So go follow the TikTok. I just made the TikTok, and okay. there's a reason I did it. So the Vault has a TikTok. I, I don't even know TikTok. I have Break never been news. on TikTok yeah, except can, for the Vault. You can get so, it popping on TikTok. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Breaking news: The Vault has a TikTok. Yeah, dude. Um, I, I, whatever. Anyway, this clip will be on. Some sort of clip on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever. Nice. So, right oh, yeah. now, yeah, go for it. I'll just zoom in real, real slow. Live on your face, yeah. I'm not gonna do it on here, but sorry. Uh... Who's, who's the actor? Yeah. <laughs> I got to channel my inner Christopher Lloyd. I um, if there's anything that you take away from this episode of the podcast, it is that. Sure, there's bad uniforms out there. And yes, there are going to be people to roast them. And if you were one of the unfortunate souls that had to sport these uniforms, we apologize. But as long as you keep steady in life and you focus on the correct things, you're going to be okay in the end. Because our Lord and Savior, (laughs) Bible man, is going to ascend from the heavens use his sword and his scriptures against the shadow of doubt to bring you to prosperity so shout out bible man if you have any listen how about this if anyone who is watching the vault has a vhs tape of bible man (laughs) dm us we will sign it and send it back to you. His Bible man won't, dude. And no, no, Bible man, he's, he's not there for the vanity. Okay? We are, though, But we dude. are. So, listen, it only costs you five bucks. Count it as a tithe, okay? So, uh, you're, you're paying to God's body of work, all right? Um, maybe not the vault, but you know we're we're just uh, like I'm one of we're a conduit, helpers. dude. We're a conduit. Yeah, of of Bible man. <laughs> um, you know, me and Bible man have a rocky history, but uh, is, I'm, I don't even want to ask. Yeah, you. I, I don't want to ask. I was you, always dude. rooting for the bad guy. <laughs> okay, but um, but now I have I've changed coats. And I'm on Bible Man's side. <laughs> Maybe not exactly what he says. Yeah, people but grow, dude. People he grow. He has a yeah. sick ass uniform, dude. And <laughs> and we saw it tonight. That's what we're all about. Much. Um, listen, uniforms, camaraderie, Bible Man, the three pillars <laughs> of the vault. Okay, uniforms, camaraderie, Bible Man. That's the show. Thank you what all for it? tuning in, guys. This has been the Vault. <laughs> Go subscribe. Uh, share, uh, be a friend, tell a friend, all that stuff. Talk about it at church. <laughs> Shout out Bible, man. I, dude, I can't. Um, <laughs> all right, I got to end it on that. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Appreciate it. Thank you. Peace.